And now, where are you? Not aux. There you are. And now we have game audio. Cool. Anyways, so getting into it. Uh, today our plan is to play Dismantle. Uh, we've played this twice in the channel before. Uh, we played it once way back when the, um, why say way back? Like a year-ish ago? When the, uh, Underworld update dropped. And that was fun, we messed a lot with that. Um, and on the 19th, so four days ago, uh, the Doomsday update dropped. I actually haven't touched anything with the new update at all, whatsoever. Um, so I'm just playing it. Uh, for the record, in this case, they actually didn't give me the, uh, the key for the Doomsday one, because I didn't realize it had come out. And we were just yesterday like, yeah, let's play Dismantle. I'm like, oh, they had a DLC. Well, it's like eight bucks. It's fine. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, but Dismantle's a pretty, pretty interesting game. That's not the buttons I wanted. But it's a pretty interesting game, because one of the things that happens with it is you can break just about everything in the environment. Like, this truck, I'll eventually be able to break. So if I can start banging that. When I get 70 damage, I can break that truck apart. Um, when I go and I get more damage, I can break these barricades. I can actually already chop down trees. So you can, like, break everything. This wall? When I get enough damage, I'll be able to break right through a brick wall for materials. So it's kind of this fun game where you just start demolishing everything. Um, and the things we were working on is I needed to get more materials to upgrade my, my hat. Um, because you have cold weather and hot weather clothing. And we were down going into the area where there's the hot weather. I didn't have quite enough to be able to handle the hot weather safe, hot weather safely. All right. What I'm going to do first of all. I'm going to fast travel back down to where the hot weather area was. Which is down here. Oh, and once you uh, destroy terrain and all, like, destroy resource and all that, um, it's just gone. Forgot this is stronger hitting. One second. All right. I need you to get out of that corner, man. I gotta cut around you. I died because I couldn't see through the tree, so I couldn't tell which way it's facing. Because it's around. The penalty for death in this game is pretty pretty minor, honestly. Um. There was a penalty. I don't remember what the heck it was. Like, you drop what you're carrying, but you can just pick it back up. I need to get rid of those trees. Because that was the problem. Was I lost which way it was facing behind there. Much better when I can actually see what's happening. All right, so I can't break those, um, but basically I need to be on the lookout for materials. I'm looking for rubber, and I am looking for deer for leather. Well, um, hide, I guess, technically. I wanted to go ahead and break the fridge and all that, because... Circuit boards and electronics are still good for us. Um. Da, da, da. So the campfire was right here. Let's go ahead and use the campfire real fast. That way, if I die or anything, I reappear here. And there's a thing you can do that normally the enemies respawn. But there's a thing you can do that makes it so they stop respawning. Um, it's got material costs to turn it on and all that. Alright, so I've got you. Which I've already done it here, which is the reason they're dropping that blue material. 
is that blue material they only drop where you've done the thing where the enemies are gone forever. So it's worth me taking the time to like systematically kill everything I see. Because if I do that, it becomes a thing I don't need to worry about. But um, we're getting pretty juice so far as our strength and all that. Which is the reason why I feel pretty reckless about just running in and beating on things. I really do hope everyone's having themselves a good Sunday. For those of us in the Persuasion, that's Sunday. For those who have moved on to the day, that is Monday. I'm sorry. But, um, I hope your Mondays are going well. But I mean, it's one of those games that, like, there's no real reason to not break just about everything in the world. Um. And like I said, you can get to the point where you can just start destroying pretty much everything that exists. Um, so there's no re- like, you could just go around, like, eventually I could remove all these buildings. Um, right now I'm not worrying about too much because I have certain materials I'm specifically in need of. But it's also nice, because if you think of like games like State of K2, where there's like the car that's always in the way and you can never, ever, ever get rid of it. Like, this one, sure, I can't get rid of it early game, but eventually I will be able to. Oh, I missed. Which can be pretty good. Oh, I'm throwing over it. Well, I wasn't expecting that to be a thing. I don't remember. Oh, it's probably two. Um, well, I guess we're gonna try our hand grenade. Okay. So I haven't seen any yellow dots, which are the, um, which are the critters. Oh, I need the basal bat. It is one of those games that, like, there's a most stuff you can break with just about anything, but there is stuff that'll be like, this is the thing you need blunt damage to break. This is the thing you need. I'm sitting here going, I need rubber, and that has rubber in it right there next to us. Okay, we can't break those walls, that's fine. I also appreciate that the inventory management side of it's not bad, it's just you can only carry so much. Um, but otherwise there's no like real big deal with it. I also don't have to sit there and go like individual piece by piece, like put stuff in. I remember earlier on when those ones in orange were like really annoying because of how fast they are. Oh, it's one of these situations where it's like, you need a really good lockpick to get in there. Or, hear me out, I have really good weapons. Which is one of the many things I appreciate about it is just... It's like... In some games you'll have where your character like smash through concrete walls and all that and you'll get to one where it's like, nah, it's the locked room that you missed the key at the beginning of the game, start looking. And this was like, nah, that's fine, just smash right through the wall. It's cool. Apparently you can base build as well, which I wasn't aware of, or at least I don't re didn't remember, until we started playing again. Um, 
and we found like where the bases kind of thing to uh to do that i haven't done any of it yet because at the time i like didn't have access to the materials i needed on any real level oh you actually got cut off that's annoying Quit trying to throw stuff at me through the window. Okay. Alright, so I'll have to come back here after we drop stuff off. Yeah, so a lot of this game is mostly around, like, actually resource gathering, and then when you figure out, like, you know, a new area going, okay, well, I've gotten to the new area, there are these resources, how do I get these resources to do where I need what I need to do? Like, okay, I have access to iron. What do I need to get the iron where I can use that to get whatever the next material is? Or, okay, I've unlocked the new tool. You know, it's made it so I can break a bunch of stuff that I couldn't before. But then, like, actually figuring out what stuff you couldn't break before is the stuff you need to break to get the new material. And it's one of the few games that, like, circling back to where I've already been doesn't feel bad. Like, so many games, you know, you have to backtrack. You're like, ah, I gotta backtrack. I don't like it. But this game, because you kind of, like, go to smash stuff, you'll have junk that's like, man, I wish I'd get rid of this. Um, and then you'll come back and you can get rid of it. And it's so satisfying after, like, having that thing that's been making a mess the whole time. You can finally circle back and deal with it please remain indoors and refer to your cobalt manual page 27 for instructions this is an automated recording sent from a23 the crown station i also like that even the things that give you like background story and all that kind of stuff once you've heard it you can break those too you can just like destroy everything I will say, this one part of the map right here, where I have all this water all over the place, this spot is a little annoying. Instead of just running back to the fire and having a nice, easy, direct route, I got to, like, snake around the paths, and falling into the water really sucks. Don't do it. I'm also now worried about, oh, like, there's no such thing as, like, over-collecting in resources. You don't have, like, a limited inventory space. It does make me curious, like, what all we can do in the base building. I'm sure at some point during the stream we'll get into that, um, today. Come on, buddy. All right. Oh, I also have a lot of equipment on me that makes it so they don't notice me as well. That's part of the reason I'm able to get away with just, like, scooching around them and dealing with them however I feel like.
So that's interesting. If I hit them directly with the frag grenade, it does terrible damage. But if I hit next to them and let it blast, it usually does way more. So that's just something to know is I don't actually want to hit the target directly with it. Do we know where there's a closer campfire now? Lava sinkhole. We haven't checked up here anywhere. Oh, so that's mostly just islands down there. Okay. Let's keep running around for the moment and see if we can't find one. Probably the same campfire. Let's go back to our campfire, turn it in. Because I'm leaving all those materials in the ground. They don't despawn or disappear. Uh, they are permanent. But as well as things, I'd make sure to like to get those materials. Alright, so I got enough rubber, so I'm down to hide, which means I gotta find deer. And I am deliberately not making that food. Um, and the reason for that is I use the same thing I use to make stuff as seeds for growing more. And since I have the exact amount of corn there, um, I want to hold off until I get a bunch more stuff planted. And then if I have leftovers that give me far enough, then we'll be good. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be the route to get that box. run down here. There was one down here. And there's a couple over here, right? No, I must already grab that. There's somewhere around here I ran out of... There we go. We ran out of inventory space so I couldn't pick up more. Okay. Since I do have the thing where I kill them forever, I usually will, when that happens, take the time to try and wipe them all out. Good to have slightly more range than them now. Before I'd like run up and try and poke them. Um, alright. So we do have a campfire up there. I don't think I can reach it from here, can I? Nope. Is worth checking. Just seeing there's a campfire, because there's also a timer box down there. Uh, so I want to see if there's a campfire I can get to it. Because usually those timer boxes, you have to go to the nearest campfire. And often clean out like one or two things between you and there to make it so you can have a straight run without any any headaches. Alright. 
Well, that's interesting. So I'm assuming it'll be the campfire up above I have to get here to. That's actually going to be a tricky one. Well, that's got like a really long timer and the idea is you just got to run real far. Because that white icon on the map is the timer box. Um... Need you to head over here, buddy. Just remember, my machete hits harder. I need, because I believe I walked through those puddles, it hurts me a lot. Okay. So we got all that. So we're going to have to clear a little bit to make this happen. Because I need to make a run for the timer box. Which means I want to have as little terrain to get snagged on as possible. Alright. So, okay, upgrade grenade, we have tons of those materials, so I have no reason not to. Um, that'll require more rubber. I have plenty of that for my builder's kit. Gonna save that. Iron and wood I've got plenty of. Not gonna waste the rubber on those. Um, I can definitely afford to do that. All right, let's go time. All right, so I'm just trying to run as fast as I can to the um the timer box. Oh, that's not the way. That might have been enough to set me back. Four seconds. Okay. All right. Trying to clear just a little bit more up of stuff that potentially snagged me and all that. Because I lost a second or two on this fence trying to get around that door. I lost a second or two on the, um, the bush down there, and then I just lost a little bit when I took the wrong turn. Okay, so this will reset the timer. We can go grab it. Because usually the box will have decent materials. I haven't had anything amazing come from out of them, but... That may have cost it. I mean, those hides I needed, so that actually helps. That's that many less deer I have to hunt down. Not gonna complain about that. And there's more rubber. Or this. Um, Alright, so I don't have a way to get there from here.
I'm just realizing I won't have room for any of this. It's fine. Um, it is really funny just when you get to the point, it's like, it's blocked. I'm like, is it though? Doesn't seem very blocked anymore. Um, goodbye enemy, I guess? Alright, I need to rest, just drop off. The other thing I need to do is get that power cell now I think about. It should be in the general area. One of them is down in this corner. Oh, fine. I'm going through the wall. I don't have time to go find a door. Yeah, let's drop this off and get back towards heading... Well, we won't even drop it off. We'll keep going down here to the right. Because I was expecting for the heat to be a problem again, because last night when I was playing, um, that was like at the end I actually had to fast travel back out of the area because it was killing us. Um, but it doesn't seem to be a big issue right now. Don't know. I'm ready to get the heck out of here if it, uh, if it does cause a problem again. Because the thing I need to do is I need to level up two more times to have the ability to start crafting my next tool. Um, so I figure progressing the story is probably the best way to get some, like, solid XP all at once versus, you know, getting little trace amounts of XP for breaking everything. I could literally just continue to break everything, gain, like, the, like, you've seen the little XP I'm getting there. Like, that would be totally viable. I am doing some of that as we go, just in case. Suppose there's a power slayer. I bet you we fight a boss over here. Uh, but not right there, because that is a broken bridge. Oh, another farm. Um, with no campfire or anything nearby it. The maintenance is now conducting a scheduled inspection of the wall systems. You will need to comply with their orders. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown State. And the gimmick with those things, you get too close and they just barb you. part of the island. We will have the situation under control in no time. This is an automated record sent from C-23, the Crown Station. Okay. I want to find another fire pretty soon. Okay, um, if I had to choose stuff to drop, you know, drop that in favor of the bones. And we want a grenade for this situation.
Oh. I expected you to require two hits. Their inventory is getting very full. Alright, so we are starting to overheat again. like to get rid of the thing spitting all the poison if you don't mind game all right um and our heat is still continuing to go up so i'm gonna need to back off soon yeah let's back off i'm low on knives all right we gotta run back to our campfire Campfire should be up here somewhere. Go ahead and destroy. You real fast? Alright, where was the campfire nearby? To the tropical farm. Okay, the campfire is just up here. So when we got down there, we're starting to overheat again, but that's okay. Um, so we do have a lot of stuff has become available. That requires steel, that requires steel. Gathering ch double chance, search efficiency. Dodge roll speed. I'm not, I'm not ready to put, oh, I should also check for them. Um, instead of just upgrade and venting gear. Let's see, laces. Um, picking up items is more efficient. Material carry slots plus one. Yes. Um, that's luck. That's the lure and all that. I don't really care. All right. So yeah. So at 19, we get the extra lock pick. That'll open up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna right about there. So I'll probably get this fuel cell. We'll hit 19. Um, and when that happens, we'll have, like, a lot more options of places we can go. Because there's a lot of places that are locked up right now that require expert lockpicks that I don't have the ability to make. Um, but at 19, I will get the ability to make those. I'll kill you over here. I wonder if when I go down here, it'll stop us from overheating. Because one would think it would. We'll be underground. So it should stop us from overheating. 
I mean, I guess technically that would stop us from overheating while also overheating us in a very different way. Oh, okay. Hang on. I, uh, I underestimated how much damage those do. So I'm trying to visualize the path through. Okay, I think I might have it. So I walk this way. There is no mercy to that thing. <laughs> okay, I think it might be taking some of our life as we go. Alright, so this makes a solid wall with a wave. It's looking like it actually makes the tile unsafe to walk on. That's not fair. I can't dodge roll through it, I don't think. <laughs> Am I missing some detail about this? I can't break those, right? Yeah, so I can't break them. But, like, even with, like, a lot of health, I just get grazed and it instantly knocks me down. Yeah, it's so hard to tell what the range is on that thing. Yeah, so I can't... It definitely isn't that way in. So my thought was either go in this way, walk down with this one, walk over, run up, go through here. Or maybe... No, nah, you won't be able to get through that way because they're sweeping both ways. Um... But I'm just like getting the slightest graze that says two damage and I instantly die. What? Is it just the tip of the fire that hurts? Alright, we're testing. No? I am so confused. That doesn't make any sense, but okay, we can go with it. Yep, I don't... I'm not gonna pretend to understand. It's fine. So, like, it's trying to be all careful. It's just like, nah, just roll through it. It's fine. Just try and make the iframes work. Um, Alright, so we need to run back real fast because we are overheating. And I assume if we overheat enough, we just, like, die. I just made sure it wasn't a closer campfire down here. It's curious that it seems to 
I can't tell if it's north south that determines it or it's like being closer to a location that determines it. It doesn't seem super consistent about where I do and don't run into heat problems. Oh yeah, so this will be up here. I don't really want to have to go backtrack to um locate a bunch of deer or whatever. Alright, um, so we can upgrade this. And that puts it at 19, which means expert lockpicks, which requires more steel. You have a shiny piece of metal. And I'd usually... Oh, damage deflection. You already had the monster lure. You have the raptory. Amber mana pills. Okay. Yeah, and at one more level, I get these two tools, whatever they are, become available. And I imagine those will be the things that, um... Let's get farther. Okay, so I just needed... What did I, what did I need for the extra black pit? It was steel, right? Alright, so we're looking for metal pipes and that sort of thing. Um, since I'm going to do the lock picks up here anyways, let's go ahead and transfer back up here. Start trying to break stuff to see if we can't find any more steel. So we're looking for pipes. Um, we're looking for big electrical boxes. Looking for telephone poles. Not that style, like power power poles. Um, bum, bum, bum. I can break these now. Yeah, I was hoping you'd be steel. Um, any updated dead on patch to the overlay thing? No, I haven't seen anything, unfortunately. Um, there's been no update that I've gotten so far. How's it going, Pank? Nice having you drop in. Oh, wait, I can break these now? Oh, ho, ho, we're to the point of breaking rocks. Ah, there, steel. That's what I need. And that'll be enough steel for us to get our expert lock fix. Which means letting ourselves into uh, important places. And meanwhile, I'm going to do this real fast. Which is a shout out for Pankraru. Those who don't know Pankraru, friend of the channel and one of our mods. Fantastic content creator. Absolutely would highly recommend. VTuber. Uh, plays a variety of games. Um, what did I see you playing the other day? I know you played the game that was like XCOM. You played the um, Sandrock. That's right, Sandrock. My time at Sandrock. Because uh, I remember I mentioned that I need to play that game because it's one that's been on my radar forever but just hasn't happened for no specific reason. Um, do I own Sandrock? I think I might already own Sandrock. I know I owned uh, My Time at Porsche already. Then you use your 100,000 game to play Porsche? Do it. <laughs> because then they'll finally get me to play Because like I said, I've needed to do it forever. Oh, right. I have to actually, you know make the tools. Uh, having the fistful of materials in my bag doesn't doesn't really help much. So you make our expert lockpicks. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd absolutely be down. This is my house. Really? Really? You're a punk game. 
You're an absolute punk. Then I spent all that time to make those lockpicks. I went one room in, you're like, no, now you need the better lockpicks. Alright, what are you? Gembine? Play Gembine? Press up to move gems up. Press right to move gems right. Figure out how to combine the two gems. What is it? Um, I know the name of the game. That's not what you want. Um, let's see. Um, Sandrock is better than Porsche, but doesn't have anywhere near as much content as Porsche because it's still in dev. Yeah, and that happens. Alright, so we are in trouble because I got the, um... Hmm. Yeah, so I, I got that green in a bad position, so... Is probably it? Maybe? Wait, are we actually going to save this? Probably not. Um, it's really hoping you wouldn't shift over, but that's okay. We can make this work. Oh, that's bad. All right. Let's see. Oh, if you like Sunhaven, which I'm waiting is to get a bigger cell, I think I enjoy Porsche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've looked at Porsche, and it definitely looks like a game I would absolutely be into. I do enjoy a good slice of life game. I don't know how we haven't lost like three times over already. Ah, I was really hoping you wouldn't fill in that way. It's fine. It's not really fine. So I got 15,000 points. Or sorry, I got 41,525. And the highest score is 54,321. Do I get... It gave me meat. It gave me meat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not thrilled by the fact that I got meat out of that machine. Um... Don't be master key. Okay. Hey. Don't give me that attitude. Yeah, what is it? Is it called 1024 is the name of that game that we we're just playing basically? 
the entire idea is like 1024 is I think it starts with like one and then you combine the ones to make two and then you combine the twos to make four and then you combine the fours to make eight and that the idea is I think the maximum you can get is 1024 before it's impossible to have a move that you can do. But usually the main gimmick is to try and get whichever one you're going for as you're being your scoring one into one of the corners. And then kind of just shuffle the things around to continue to accelerate it. Um, it's just sometimes you have to like shift them back out of the corner um, when you get like stuck in a position where you can't get a new thing. But you want to like lock it in place before you do that so that you shift everything where it would remove from the corner. It doesn't like it's blocked from going. I figure I've been waiting so long to get in this place. I am breaking everything. I don't care if I need the materials or not. I'm still salty. There's a master key. Um, after all that, that I got in this place, and there's another room back here, and I need a better key for it. Like, I fully expect to get a tool I can break the door down before I can actually get the master key. Key locks or whatever it is. Alright, so drop you off. Trying to think of where else we have on the map that we ran into lock stuff I couldn't open because of not having the um, good enough lock picks. Because there's a good couple of them. Like, we kept running into ones that nowadays I can break down most doors. I was able to just go up and smash the door real fast and not have to worry about it. At least the good news is I'm getting lots of circuit boards and electronics and that out of these rooms. And some steel and all that. There's a metal pipe right here. Okay, well that wasn't as exciting as I thought. Um, So we got two rooms to the south I can't get into yet, so let's go ahead and go there. Should be breaking all these things just to get them out of the way forever. Yeah, it seems like these are mostly about just kind of harder to find materials. Let's drop this off real fast and see if we can't find any more locked doors. That question mark I couldn't reach. Alright, so no more locked doors that we're seeing. Okay. So then we're back to where we were in regards to, I just need to, um, let's, uh, scan for monsters. So I was missing seven monsters. Um, so I got three monsters in the far left, one down there, and three down there. So let's go ahead and kill the rest of the monsters in this area. Yeah, I think that's a fun little mini game to include, especially since that's not a difficult mini game to implement as a dev. Um, the 1024, whatever it's called. Can't go through that yet. Nope.
That's fine. So I need to run down here. Oh, I can't get out that way at all. Um, all right. So we'll cut back over this way. There's an area just south of here, which is where the monsters are. So I need to get out of the perimeter and go south. It's like right over there. Oh, I see a deer. Oh, deer. Deer is about to have a bad day. Hey, Bambi. I'll show you something. It's my machete. Isn't it neat? Yeah, so it's right over here somewhere. There was three of them. And sorted. Oh, another deer over here. Alright, got you. Uh, we got a couple enemies over here we can kill and some locked doors to check. Because in these areas where I've done the thing where they don't respawn, it would be taking the time to eliminate absolutely everything. We've learned to make how to make uh, tomato bruschetta. Oh, I should be going to the farm, shouldn't I? Where's Nurse Campfire? Um, I need to go way over there, or way back there. Well, that sucks. Okay, so let's run up here. Oh, let's check the wishing well. That's fine. And grab all the circuit boards and all that. Yeah, so I need to go back to my farm and pull up all the crops and all that. Let's destroy that cabinet so you can cut straight through. Alright, um... So the next group's probably on that little island over there, so let's check the island. Because it could have sworn your reward for, um... Full clearing all the enemies from an area as you get the material you use to make the enemies not respawn back. But it could very easily be wrong. So we got that one, and I bless, believe they left only like two to the way to the west to deal with. Oh dear. And there's a couple way over here to the west somewhere that I missed.
Oh, I've got a box to go. Is this the one that's up in the cliff? No, this one's just out in the open. All right, so where is the nearest campfire to you? Um... Well, first, let's check down there, because that... Actually, let's go up to this campfire up here. That might be my closest bet. Because that'll be a timed box. Okay, so we can invent something new. All right, um, so I can make the ice brick. I'm gonna save the rest for just the moment. Um, I don't really care about those. All right, so let's try and get to this box as fast as we can. This might be one I can't realistically get to until we smash the wall open. We'll see how close it is. Nope, got in one. Okay, never mind. Um, so we're too far west now for the last of the enemies. My guess is the enemies are in here. That we are missing. Um, now we'll run up to the farm, deal with that real fast. And go from there. Ooh, a bunch of deer. A whole bunch of deer. Alright, so no enemies over here. There's some enemies. I know some enemies around here somewhere. Oh, hey. I wasn't actually expecting meaningful enemies. There's something you were guarding or just... Okay. I think that might be all the enemies for this area. Uh, so let's go up here to where I got that farm. I and mean, check those question marks up there. I think they're both the um, like rips in space or whatever it is that I haven't figured out how to interact with yet. Being able to finally break these rocks is just nice. Even if I don't really have a use for the stone at the moment. Just dead deer everywhere. Yeah, so this is like one of those rips in space thing. Makes so my movements are greatly impaired. I'm assuming later on I'll be able to interact with those where we can teleport and such. Um, because if we look down here, there's another rip in space up there with that box that I can't reach. Alright, so there is our farm. I'm gonna drop all this off. And kind of like Sunhaven, the first time we eat everything, we get a permanent stat buff, which is why it's actually worth taking the time to do this. Um, unlike Sunhaven, where Sunhaven, you basically can just keep getting your stat buff, not infinitely. I mean, sort of infinitely. It's got like a, a soft cap where you get more and more diminishing returns the more times you eat the same recipe, or the same material, I guess I should say, um, in Sunhaven. Whereas this one, it's kind of one and done.
I dropped it all off. And now I can go ahead and grab her hoe. Pretty soon we'll be out of good soil for farming. Seems to be all of it. We circle around the outside. I'm not seeing any other uh, targets, so that is maximum size that farm is going to ever be. That's fine. There's a couple areas that also have it. I've been worrying so much about the farms just because it's just not been a thing to worry about. Um, all right, so I need to plant onions, wheat, and lettuce as kind of our priorities because I'm still low on those. And the lettuce, because I don't have much of it. I guess next up we'll do potatoes. I'll probably do a row of everything, honestly. The uh, the farming in this game, like, it's a good addition, but it's one of those things that you kind of scratch your head and be like, huh, alright, sure, why not? All right, so we will grab the carrots. Well, actually, the corn next. I do wish it didn't have such a long planting animation, though. And I also wish it at least give you, like, trace amounts of XP. Because, like, if smashing any little segment of fence gives me tiny little bits of XP... You know, laborious farming should at least give me more than nothing. But at some point, I need to fish. I keep putting it off. I shouldn't put it off as bad as I am. Because eventually when I do circle around to it and I need it, I'll end up doing those things where you like have to sit there and just really grind out the fishing all at once because you keep putting it off. I wonder if there'll be more variety of seeds we're still going to find that we haven't found yet. I don't think so. Okay. So, farm is fully handled. I want to take that off the bar. The reason for that is I found that in the uh, the building thing. If you have it on your bar and you accidentally select it and you click the button, then it becomes a whole big hassle. Alright. Now with that, I can actually start cooking some recipes. 
What does it want me to invent? A fur hat? Yeah, I can make that. Or where we go up where it's cold. Oh man, when I hit 20, I just noticed I'm going to get these two up here. Um, I've got this over here. I've got those two down here. 20 is going to be a lot of stuff all at once. Um, Alright, so we will go to cook. Um, I wish it'd show me stuff I do have the materials for. Do I have five of that fish? Nope. We don't have the wheat. We don't have that. We don't have that. I could have sworn I saw a couple. Oh, this one I could probably do. Um, alright, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Um, where's our seasoning? One, two, three. And corn beef hash. So we deflect a little bit of damage. Um, we have corn cob. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Increased our max hit points. Yeah, so there's ones down here where it shows like the little drooly face. I can make those to heal, but they don't do anything outside of healing anymore. Alright, so it looks like a lot of stuff I'm going to be waiting on our next harvest for and to get fish. Now it keeps... it shows this fish. Even though I get a whole bunch of different fish. It's fine. We'll just end up fishing more. I say, I don't think we've slept the entire time we played the game. Gotcha. Oh, sleep at a campfire. There was a thing if I did that a bunch. All right, so. I think what we do is we run back down here. We check in the Link Tower real fast. Um, see if we have any enemies left in this region at all. And then we go back down. Oh, that's steel, so I want to break that. Um, and then we go back south to see if we can't get farther. Um, oh, actually, that makes me think. Uh, I should go here. Here's a thing for critical. And give us some um, heat resistance. Oh yeah, the gas pumps were a bunch of circuits and all that in there. There's the campfire. Hey, Prunger, how's it going? All right, so I want to pop over here, scan for monsters. There are zero monsters remaining. They all died. Oh, and plus I get whatever that is. All right. It's nice to try and get over towards this fuel cell. And we have the other farm down here. Okay. Hey, JD, how's it going? All right, so I need to get to the other side of that to lower the bridge. That's fine. We killed a whole bunch of stuff down here, and then I ran out of ordnance, so I backed off.
Okay. Let's say a seller adding a rubber duck so you don't drown actually stepping in the water. Might be DLC exclusive though. Um yeah, I did see the rubber duck. I have no idea if it's DLC exclusive or not. I made it, I just haven't used it because I have other things I want in that accessory slot. Make that the DLC even better? Yeah, I do have the DLC, just to be clear. Alright. Oh, you just want one of those and a berry? I could probably find a berry real fast. Got a recipe for carrot juice. Bonk. What are you? Ah. Uh, describes the legend of an ancient folks who inhabited the island. The bringer of great knowledge, the one-armed king, descended to us from the skies. We welcomed the king to our tribe. We greeted him as one of our own. Give me one second. As I thought, my AC was like, let me make it more economical for your uh, power bill and all that. And by that I mean, what if you had it so the temperature inside this room was sweltering hot? And my immediate response is, I, I wouldn't like that. Why would you do this to me? So many of these spike plants around. Is there like a bridge? Okay, so this is the other side of this bridge. Okay, here we can let down this bridge. All right, so yeah, it gives me a shortcut now to run back and forth. Oh, is that another one I can lower? Is that my side? Yep. All 
All right, so we can rest here. Get a bunch of XP for returning all that stuff. Yeah, so twice before we can get the master lock pick. Um, yeah, I can make that now. That's fine. We got plenty of that material. Nope, not using my limited amount of steel on that. Sorry. Okay, two seconds ago. I need to go back to this game. Interesting, what's a be a little higher? Oh yeah, yeah. The game is excellent, but yeah, there's definitely um, there's a couple points that progression-wise things get a little grindy, just from the material thing. Um, but like it's kind of puzzling out. Going okay, I need material X or Y. Where can I find that readily? All right, got it. All right, Pank, you have yourself a good lurk. Thank you for hanging out and lurking all that. So after getting the first town exploring the surrounding area, it seemed like the mobs were higher and squishy pretty easy. Yeah, there's definitely like this give and take where you'll go to a place, things will be like super duper difficult to deal with. And then you um you upkit a little bit better, and then they're not that big a deal. Alright, let's run down here and get rid of them. Okay. Yeah, so I'm taking the time to basically kill off everything I see down here. Just because we got to the point where they shouldn't respawn anymore, so... Taking the time is worth it. So is it uh, what was your reward when you kill the one guy circling the chest? Or God said stay away from? Oh, I mean, he just gave you, um, like, materials. That was mostly to introduce you with the dangerous. He's like a, a regular enemy, just, um, a fairly rare one. Um, I've only seen, I think, three plays in the whole game where that particular unit shows up, and he sucks every time. Uh, later on, as you get more damage, it's not as bad. You can get into a pattern where you can just, like... Pick on him until you can wipe him out. Alright, so we got a bridge across up there. Check the map. Yeah, so we got a divide of water here. So I'm going to have to take that bridge across, because that's where I'm going to that fuel cell. But I'll actually say, um... Past the early game, a lot of the monsters, when you get like a good rhythm on how to kill them, aren't that bad to deal with. Like those ones, when you get a weapon that's just slightly longer range than they are. Ow. You only get hit when you do not so smart things like that.
All right, so the thing I want to find is I'm assuming we'll find a campfire over here somewhere. Well, that was dumb of me. Um... Oh, we don't need to be using these bandages anymore. They're not that good for us at this point. There we go. I figured there had to be a campfire around here somewhere. Go back and click all this junk I left all over the place. Because I killed all of these. Missed one. Um, there shouldn't be too many more to grab their stuff from. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. So now I can drop all this off. Because that was a lot of resources I did just want to leave on the ground road, forget where they were. And the good news is we're right about to hit level 20, which is the one that's going to probably get us our next set of tools. In fact, this will probably get us away right now. Or not. Like right there. Founders Day three, uh, three nights, inclusive only fifty eight ninety nine. Bonk. Bonk. Business during daytime hours only. Be safe. This is an automated recording sent from A22, the crowd station. Alright, we got a wrench. A material transporter. A safari outfit. A winter coat. Dentured fangs. Oh, that'll give me steel right here, so let's break you. Oh, wait, not steel, electrical. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so let's take a look at all these things we just got. Alright, so we can get scavenger. Um, Let's cook our carrot juice, so 12. And then, up oh, and six. That's another one done. Invent new gear. All right, so track that. Dentured fangs. Bloodlust flows from these vicious gnashers. Life drain per hit plus two. Max, ah, uh, okay. I mean, we'll get those eventually just to get all the things, but 75% life reduction is pretty rough. I'll put that in track. Put that in track. Material transporter. Instantly transports all carried materials to the campfire. Um, use replenished. Okay. 
Oh, that's cool. So it's it's a thing that I basically can hold on me that I'm allowed to like basically do a drop off of materials without going to the campfire once per per campfire visit. Why is there so many of the spiky plants? There's a bridge down there we'll worry about later. Okay. Alright, so I'll drop all of this off at the campfire. See if we can go up and around over here. Nope, that's okay. Oh, this gives me steel, right? Stone? Is it stone and steel or stone and iron? Uh, stone and iron, so I don't care that much. I'll grab a little bit. I really care about the steel is what I'm after. Okay. All right, so I'm going to need to drop this off and then run back down there and grab more supplies. and restock our grenades while we're here as well. some of this weight training stuff was going to give me steel, but I guess not. Uh, 
Okay, so there's not a whole lot down here. Sometimes I get rubber out of these, so I'll break it. We did get a little bit. All right. Let's drop this off. We'll go for the next one. All right. Yeah, so that's a really dangerous enemy. Like I said, you can kind of learn their pattern. It's like when you're playing, like, Dark Souls, for example. You figure out the enemy's pattern, then they're not that bad to deal with. But there's that interim where, okay, new enemy, you don't know what it's going to do. You don't know its tells. You don't know the timing. Um, So it takes us, like, a little bit to get used to. Because, like, those ones kind of punish you if you immediately dodge when they go to attack. You gotta kind of... Oh, are you telling me I got enough damage now that I could actually run up and be like, Yo, buddy. Let's go. And my damage is high enough I can actually just bully them before they have a chance to finish their... I'm going to attack you stuff. Strawberry sponge cake. Nice. Kind of hoping to get more, like another campground down here somewhere. Oh, shortcut, perfect. We can run, drop off over here. Let's notice I missed you. Are these still? No, these are electronics. Okay. So let's drop all this off real fast and we'll go back down and collect all that plant and the mana beads and all that good stuff. Not there. Okay. 
Get you. Alright, so it didn't take up as much of my inventory as I thought it would. Essential travel is prohibited. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crowd station. Okay. That's right, so nothing more down here. Should be right around to the point of reaching that power cell. Ow. Okay. Um... Tank? Oh, I'm guessing you have to fight it. Okay, uh, whatever you do, do not get anywhere near it. What is the plus one? Let me, let me, okay. I guess I can't cancel it. My plan was to get a little bit of healing and then cancel out of it. Um, only discovered there was no cancel out of it part. Interesting. Keep the mana beads on me. Alright, so, the plus one, I believe, was for more weapon. Um, how is this? I have a really good time with this. It's fun. And hey, Undead Baron, let me go ahead and get you a shout-out. Undead Baron, that. Alright, Undead Baron. Those who don't know Undead Baron, absolutely fantastic content creator. Definitely check out, uh, definitely off, blah, blah, blah. Hit the follow button at the top. I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, but yeah, now this is a this is a really solid game. Um, it doesn't have multiplayer or thing like that. While it makes you think of a um. All right. Like it kind of makes you think it's a survival game, but it's more like material collection kind of thing going on with it. Oh, he has different hitboxes. That's interesting. I damaged the thing and I don't know what. All right, but yeah, it's um, like there's the zombies and everything. Okay, so he's just gonna keep giving me supplies. But um, you collect the resource, you can actually full clear the zombie. Uh, that's bad. You can actually, like, full clear the zombies out of the map. Um, they do respawn by default, but there's an in-game mechanic where you can disable respawns in an area for a material cost. Alright. See, this boss isn't bad because they're just giving me free grenades to just keep hucking at him.
All right, you're almost dead. Okay. This game is like an arcade builder. Yeah, it's it's more arcadey than serious. Um. Cool, Zomboid bites. Yeah, it's like Zomboid if it was just like way more arcadey, silly, and a lot more about just like resource gathering than anything else. Um, I don't mean that in a bad way, but like it's a game that doesn't take itself way too seriously, which I appreciate. There's just way too many games out there. It's like everything needs to be as serious and, you know, cutthroat and dark as possible. And this one's just kind of silly. Co-op? No, sadly, there's no multiplayer. Um, I don't know if they're ever going to add multiplayer, but there is currently no multiplayer in it. Um, I think, though, with the way the resource gathering, the way you upgrade your equipment and all that, if you had multiplayer, the resource starving would be rough. Um, because where I'm gathering all these things, if you look at the right side of the screen, it gives you, like, some recipes I have for, like, upgrading my hat and all that. Um, and this is with me and my world by myself. I'm struggling to keep everything going. Uh, yeah, I'll burn those materials. Let's upgrade my bandages. I'm not giving up steel. Alright, so... I need to make the wrench. The wrench is gonna be just higher blunt damage. But I need more rubber make that happen um so we did get our first of the fuel cells which are the big thing i believe to winning the game those are the weakest enemies i just killed there by the way that's the reason they go down in one hit this is late ish game all right so we're down to the point that i just need to find rubber Oh, another thing is almost everything in the world is destructible. Like, almost everything. So if I got 70 damage, I could take apart that car. If I get, I think it's like 90, I can take apart the big rocks. Um, let me switch my weapon. If I get 90 damage, I can take down the trees. Like, even, even like, brick walls and concrete walls, you can tear apart if you have enough damage. So it's kind of funny that, like, you'll forget to, like, get a hold of a key for a long time. Then you get yourself a sledgehammer. Like, you go up to this wall, for example. 60 damage will be able to go right through a brick wall. So it's it's really neat the way it's you can kind of destroy almost everything. There's only a handful of things you can't destroy, and that's because they're, like, story-wise important kind of things. Is about the only things you can't destroy. Yeah, so you just go into houses when you're trying to resource gather and just start wrecking everything. Alright, we got a recipe for fish sticks. That's cool. And you do have limited inventory, but it's pretty generous. And, like, one of the things I do appreciate is I didn't make inventory magic a big pain. I just walk up to the box and just everything in my inventory gets put away. Oh, I see. The fuel cell does not leave my inventory. Okay. Um, all right. Well, what would be the fastest way for us to get... I can probably just fast travel to it, can't I? Oh, good, we can make our wrench. We got enough rubber. Alright, so let's make our wrench real fast. Alright, so what will it take us to upgrade our wrench? We already have what we need for the first upgrade, which is no surprise. I'm um, gonna need one more steel. Um, so that's at... What's our damage on that? That was 41 versus our base all bad. Is that what now? 54. Okay, so it's not quite at the point of replacing our base all bad. I need more steel. Um, so it's fast travel. I'm assuming I could fast travel with this. All right. What was I going to do here? So I had the master key for that. Alright, oh, we were dropping out the fuel cell because apparently cannot leave my inventory. Uh, so put our first fuel cell in. 
for escape pod. Cool. Okay, so I need to get some steel. So where am I thinking I'm going to go for that? I can go to Link Tower down here. We haven't explored down this way. Um, so let's check down there, I think. Because if I haven't been down there, I clearly haven't started exhausting the resources down there. Okay. Did I already put in the thing that, um... Yeah. So I already put the thing in that lets us kill the monsters. But we've done no real work on that end. Break you box. Okay. And those things were dangerous way earlier in the game. Oh, Bambi. I need your hides. Alright. Get a wishing well. Oh, just mushrooms and mana beads? I can do that. So you can choose our reward. A bunch of steel is the answer. So I can't use the wishing well again for half hour. That's fine. That works out perfectly because that was the exact materials coming down here hoping to find, which... You know, you can't hope for better results than that. Alright, so upgrade a wrench. So I need rubber and steel. So it's at 47. And again, what was my bat at? My bat is at... Tell me how much my bat's damage is, please. 54. So my bat is at 54. You are at 47. I have noticed we have unlocked an additional slot there. We can also get this out of here. Let's go ahead and make it the dice again. Oh! I actually am in a place that's hot. Hang on. I didn't think I was in a place I had to worry about that. Let's put the ice back on. Alright, so I need more steel and more rubber. If I'm going to make the, uh... The better stuff. Okay. Alright, so we got all those killed. But yeah, since you can like actually like permanently clear stuff out, if you're just not one who's like into combat in these styles of games. It's kind of nice that you can just like do the upgrade to make them die forever. Um, they give you rare material when they do die forever. You can only get with that. Um, so you're not like going through have to like wade through the easy enemies again and again and again. Um, when you're like backtracking, it's one of the few games that I feel like backtracking actually feels good because I can't destroy so much, and there's like a certain catharticness of like clearing out everything. So it is kind of satisfying to go back to places you previously went and take care of those handful of things you couldn't deal with. Alright, so we got ourselves another recipe. There's rubber in that table drum there. Except our inventory is full. But we also have ourselves a fantastic little campfire here. And the campfires are like Dark Souls, where if you don't have the upgrade where the enemies stop respawning in an area, which is per area you do it. 
Um, when I hit the campfires, when they would respawn. I don't care about the wood. Uh, what are you? Something I can't quite break yet is what you are. Board the aerial supply drone? Um, I think we will do that not right this second. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't, because that's a new DLC. I actually don't know what level the new DLC is intended for. Like, how far in the progression you are. Can't remember if you were steel. You are. Alright, so water tank. I haven't seen many of those, but apparently that's not a big deal. Oh, a whole bunch of rubber, please. Let's break you, your steel as well. And I need to quickly take two seconds and go here. Recipes. Um, let's find our cooking recipes. Untrack you. Untrack you. Untrack you. I'll make them all eventually, but it's making it so I can't see my other recipes, what I'm missing. Computers real fast because that's circuit boards I need. This seems like a terrible idea. Um, was that like a fusion rifle I just saw the guy holding? Because I remember our other character with the first DLC, I had only gotten myself like a crumb and breach detected. Biohazard warning is in effect on the whole archipelago. Seek shelter inside the nearest research complex to you. All right. Severe containment breach detected. Biohazard warning is in effect on the whole archipelago. Seek shelter inside the nearest research complex to you. Yeah, so it looks like they may have learned their lesson last time. With the last DLC, you could kind of skip entire phases of the game by getting early access to materials you shouldn't have yet. Um, so it looks like some of the better materials they've put inside buildings with the walls, like, blocked off. I say that, and then that spits out a bunch of cloth. I'm like, alright, well, that would skip a little bit. Alright. Just checking upgrades, because I haven't been keeping track of where we're at. 
Um, we're not at the point where we can upgrade the wrench. We can avoid spending any of those materials. The blood bag I can upgrade and not feel bad. Is there anything else I want to? Wait. I got more recipes. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good on the rubber now. But not as good in the steel. Nothing steel over there. We have a workbench I'm not going to use. So we should be setting our rubber at this point. Like for this crap. We'll need. Always need more rubber. But. Okay. Fishing spot I don't care about right now. I wonder if the grenades, if I can finish the job. Nope. Those telephone poles? Telephone poles have steel. It's all the way up there. That's fine. Um, keep looking for those telephone poles because that's giving us the steely one. Hopefully, I find another way around where I'm trapped in here. I mean, I assume we can go back the way we came, or maybe I just have to find a um, a ray point or whatever it is. Fast show home. Oh, oh, no getting away. I need your body. Okay. All right. So we've got something on the clipboard in there. There's something in here about a blueprint hidden in a leaf pile in town but most of the message is illegible. Cool. Oh, and there's a campfire right there, so we can get that going. Let's check in the status of what we got so far as upgrading our equipment. Two more steel, and I can upgrade the wrench. I mean, honestly, all that plastic for free is not bad either.
Uh, can we talk about like the death miasma going on up there? I don't think it should go into the death miasma. Something tells me walking into giant green cloud is somehow not good for my long my long term health. Okay, there's lots of stuff in there, but doesn't look like I can go in this way. What do you give me material-wise? Just wooden a little metal. Okay, so I need to drop on my materials again. Still haven't seen another sign. Can I break you? No. I'm just trying to watch for any, like, steel pipe. Can I, can I get up to these pipes and bang on them? That'll do it. That's a wrench. Extra obstacle melee targets. I need titanium to upgrade that again. Okay, so you have 54 blunt damage. You have 53 blunt damage, but you hit one extra target. Alright, I mean, I can live with that. So it's technically not as strong. But it hits extra things. Yeah, so we've got slightly less range, but it hits, like, not AoE per se. It hits two targets at once as opposed to one. Alright. But it's not fully upgraded. But I have no idea where I get titanium from. So... That's a whole thing. But I get one unit of titanium, and then I can upgrade again, and I'll be able to break a lot more stuff. Okay. There's a lead pile up there. Oh, did I miss one? I can go back for it in a minute. All right. Oh, we gained a level. Let's run back. We'll get our leaf pile. And we got a new invention of an axe. Uncommon compressor. Okay, does that let, let me turn common materials into uncommon materials? Okay, so let's take a look. Treasure Hunter shows buried treasure stash and other things on the map when you're close enough. Or Pack Rat. It's going to be Pack Rat. Um, invent. What do I need for the axe? We can already just make the axe. So that's plus 50 to start in slashing. 
Okay. This is gonna make magic happen is what this is gonna do. Oh, was there any other things that... Because we had a bunch unlocked. Uh, we don't have that. Uncommon compressor. Doubles the backpack slot carry capacity for uncommon items. Which I need lumber and steel for, and I apparently don't have any of either left, which is a bit upsetting. Um, I'm going to actually untrack you. And untrack you. Alright. So you need steel. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh, um, so let's take that cooking recipe off of here. What? Why is it not... Tr oh, is it maybe when I hit... Maybe it was I? No? There you go, recipes. Alright, so I need steel. Oh, one thing I should do. Um, items, so you're less than 50? You're 55. I see. So we're not quite to the point. I need to get another upgrade out of it before that could give me more mileage. Part of me wonders if I should be pushing this DLC content, or I should be circling back, right? There's a unit of steel in this. Oh, and the pile of leaves, that's right. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a pile of leaves up here. Okay, that's pretty much what I figured. Is that I couldn't safely go through any of that. Alright, um... Let's grab out our shovel and dig. That's not what I want. Let's try again. What? What did I just find? Truffles. Okay. Is there a pile of leaves south of the house? Oh, if they're this far out of the way where I don't see them, uh, don't let me know. Unless you're talking about this. Oh, I just went past it. Okay. I was just making sure, like, if I... Yeah. You just went past it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's fine. I thought you were pointing me to one down there's like, that's that's way far. <laughs> like, failing to observe so that's fine is... Yep, yeah, we're good.
Okay, well that got not smooth at all. Can I walk up this? I can. I didn't expect that, actually. Alright, so unfortunately I'm going to need to rest the bonfire again. Okay, so I am thinking that this is the DLC. This is like the expansion content. I think I kind of probably want to go back to the main world. Because I'm worried about running into the situation I ran into with the other one where I bypass entire layers of progression. Um, so I just want to like, we're not going to keep like trying to finish the game right away. But um, I'd like to keep the progression going the way it's intended and then circle back to like the DLC. Uh, but it is interesting that it looks like it's a whole thing where we're going to go to a base and do all that. Um, it looks like there's going to be new things I have to unlock, like the gas mask and whatnot. Now, first thing you need to do is find steel. Well, or titanium. Right. Your short range... The construction site. We were here way earlier, it's like, we get all sorts of good materials from here. I didn't find much. And plus, being too aggressive, getting hurt. I think, like, one upgrade in the axe will put it right up above what we've already got. All right. Because we're getting pretty close to the point that um, we'll be able to go anywhere. Because like once I get this axe upgraded once or twice, then I think we're only missing like one, maybe two actual weapon upgrades before we're like basically done. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to go for a charge hit. It is what I did, but it's not what I wanted. Um, because being a charge hit, I just stood there charging it for a second and took the entire like shotgun hit of whatever that stuff is to the face. Luckily, whatever the penalty for death is seems pretty trivial. There's a little steel.
pipe over here. We're watching for the pipes, because that's steel. Must be electrical. Okay, so we're already full up on materials. I'm gonna break this so when I run through. I grab a bunch of that as well. Alright. So we got half of the steel I need. But my guess is I'm going to end up needing to do is for the next fuel rods. I'll probably end up needing all of the winter and all of the like safari wear kind of thing. Um, Because likely it gets worse and worse as we get farther in. Which is fair, that's a pretty typical way of dealing with these kind of things. Oh, telephone poles are steel. Alright, just one more and we have ourselves our uh, next tool for stuff. And that'll uh, fetch us our better axe. I have a bunch of stuff laying around here, apparently. Up here. And we have a campfire right up there. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get in there, am I? There'll be a wall between us. You ran past two telephone poles? Oh yeah, there's a good chance of it. be the two poles you two are referring to. Alright, so I don't know what new stuff the axe will get us that we can break, but it will be an improvement, so we'll be able to break new things. Because there'll be some combination of things that'll be able to get us titanium, which will then get us the next upgrade, which will get us to the next thing. You get the idea. That's kind of how the game works, is you get the upgrade to get the thing that you can get the next upgrade. Alright. So, upgrade. That would be the axe. You just need lumber? You just need lumber and rubber? Oh, I... I get it. Alright, um, so let's... So you have 55 slashing, you have 56 slashing. Gotcha, so that's wood and I need another thing higher than wood called lumber. Alright, so let's try and find some of the trees that we haven't been able to cut down before. That maybe that one extra point of damage will be enough. Sixty oh, you know I bet you it could be. Let's put on our lumberjack clothes. Our lumberjack clothes, I believe, give us extra damage on trees. 
Um, with the 56, that might be just enough to push us over being able to hit trees that require 60. I'm not sure if that's how it actually works, but we're going to find out here in a second. So, not the inventing thing. Um, inventory. Oh, I already have extra lumberjack. If I upgrade the lumberjack, sure, what happens? Oh, I physically can't. Can you change your clothes without hitting campfire? Um, I thought it wouldn't let me. Ah, uh, you can change some ones. Like, this one, though, I must have a camp. But, like, the t-shirt I apparently came. That's interesting that they went that way. You can craft titanium. Then I must need to unlock a recipe. Um, if it was something I get as a craft... It'd probably be down here. Which would be a little annoying. Cause, I mean, it could also be up here, but I'd guess it'd be over there. That'd be annoying if I was level locked again. Because then with level locking, it's just destroying stuff. It is in buildings, if you remember. Yeah. It's interesting because it says I should be doing 50% extra damage to trees. But I guess four considerations of whether or not you can cut down a tree. It doesn't count that 50% as like the base damage required to be able to destroy a tree. I mean, meanwhile, we're going to explore and see what I can't find. Okay. Alright, well, we got a perimeter wall here. For something. Let's see, the terminal next to here, well, it appears to be short-circuited. Probably something to do with the humidity in the area. Perhaps it can be fixed? Okay. Apparently we were right up near this before, because I've got this stuff just to the right discovered. Alright, so where's the nearest campfire? We got a campfire over there. We have a locked door down here. Let's check out this area.
Okay. I'll deal with you in a minute. Let's hit the campfire. They'll start killing the stuff in the area. Alright, upgrade gear. Yeah, so we need lumber, which I don't know where we get. I need titanium, which we don't know where we get. Um, we can start upgrading our hats and all this other stuff. That's all that's all basically bottlenecked on rubber. Okay. I don't know why I started being able to break those, but I'm cool with that. I mean, the materials that gave me weren't particularly exciting, but you know. run down here because we got a locked door down there and you Okay, so we can make pasta now. Um, and we're going to drop this off. There's so much to destroy here. Oh, I have another telephone pole right next to us. Yep, so he could eventually just get the point with these houses and be like, yeah, you know what, this house? I don't like this house. This house is gone. Get out of here. Not wanted. And just like that, a house starts disappearing off the map. As we gain more damage, you can do this faster and faster and faster. Endgame swords rip apart houses. Every slash destroys the worlds. Nice. I'm not gonna go and do this to every house, but I put enough into this house. I'm like, you know what? Let's let's. Fully remove a house from the map. Yep, so that house no longer exists. So we're going to drop off the materials we got out of it. And where there was once a house, there is just now a foundation.
actually need plastic, which you get from breaking a lot of stuff in houses, so... I'm trying to get that plastic to happen. Honestly, in some ways, it's faster for me to go through the walls now than it is to actually walk around. That's good enough. Okay, so it's a bunch more plastic. You can imagine, like, later on, the government comes back and, like, they're like, all right, we've cleared, we've cleared out the things that were taking over the island, and where did all the buildings go? Who, who, like, literally leveled every building in this entire city? What? But, but why? Why would you do that? Decent furniture and shape. Gotta get rid of all that. Alright, so one more plastic and that'll give us enough for the material transporter. Which is a thing that I guess once per campfire I can use and it'll just take all my materials and stash it. And then to use it again I have to like go back to... I go back to the uh... Campfire to recharge it. Basically means I'm material collecting instead of doing these laps like I'm doing. I do half as many. I still need one more plastic. Alright, we'll have our uh clear transfer. I'm curious how that works. Alright. So invent go transporter. And it can be upgraded. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll max this thing out. So the fur hat is done. We've maxed it out. Where's the material transporter? Number of uses. Okay, we're not going to be able to use that anytime soon because it also requires lumber, which is the material we haven't figured out where to get from yet. But that's okay. Oh, I didn't try... So that's regular stuff. Let's see if we can find different kinds of trees. Alright, so I can't break the, um, those trees. Or these ones. And those ones don't give me what I'm looking for. Alright, so... Keep a lookout. Uh, that's gonna be rubber there. Can you craft it? Not that I've seen, but it could be I'm just missing a recipe. Alright, get the cowboy hat upgraded. 
you haven't seen. So this is the upgrade stuff, so it's not here. Uh, it's strictly upgrades. Um, we'll run down here, and we'll check. Just make sure it's not there. Yeah, it could be, so it means I probably just need to continue the story. Because, yeah, inventory and craft. So I get this thing, but um, we haven't seen anything like that. My guess is it's um over here somewhere that we get those materials. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it's one of those things that, like, you need to craft your first couple, and then you get a tool, and then you can just find it. Make it not tedious to get a hold of. Alright. Approach the entrance to the mountain. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I wasn't able to break these before, was I? Alright, they don't have any new materials I really care much. Do you have buildings for crafting titanium and lumber? Yeah. One thing I ought to do is I've been completely neglecting the base building aspect of the game. That should be a hard one to reach. Um, okay. Just widening this up a little bit. You can ignore it. Yeah, and I figured as much. But it might give like XP and all that that I shouldn't care about. They add it because people wanted it. Makes sense. Alright, so. Let's sit down here real fast. We can run over here real quick. Get around this car. I didn't open this way, which is the only way I didn't open, so that's a mistake on my part. Yeah, we're gonna be way too late for this chest, aren't we? Oh, nope. I wonder if it actually does go down to one second, because I think I've only seen one and two seconds for the results. Part of me feels like it lies. That, like, it says, like, one second every time, and be like, oh man, I barely made it. Wait. I assume this won't work on that. Yeah. Okay, so... We had the terminal that says, like, we need to deal with the moisture. Um, I didn't see an easy way to get around that. Got all these things. Oh. Okay, so I just need... Wait, I'm really out of circuits? Alright, so I just need circuits and rubber. What? Man, I must have built a lot of some of those using circuits I didn't realize, because I was like, wait, how on earth did I run out of circuits? You need them on you. Ah, that's actually kind of annoying. Well, either way, I need rubber. I don't have it.
The good news is at least I can walk up and add them little by little. So we keep forgetting it's not a whole big thing. Um, that's one we got rid of. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop off what we did grab. Now we'll run back and see if we have more circuits. Oh, I need six more. Okay. So we need a bunch more rubber. Big giant dead end. Going on a hunch here. I mean, I sure. So we need to find our campfire soon. Because the inventory is getting very full. Alright, so we got a campfire right over there. What? What are you? What? Alright, let's follow the spooky deer. And then we get there and it's just a group of like 40 deer that are actually hostile. I I understand. Ah That's on me. Um <laughs> just throwing grenades at my feet, don't worry about it. Just like you walk around the corners like twenty deer waiting for you, it's like you know, your your tyranny comes to an end here. We won't put up with your violence anymore. Alright, so let's get over here. There is a um that steel up there, I'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, I gotta cut through the house. Did you go away? And this is where it all starts. I was actually curious if you could like destroy the top of it or whatever. That's where the game started, so. Like, we go through here, like, none of the stuff you can even do anything about. Okay, breaking rocks is actually really good XP. Um, new invention of Proximity Man? Mine? Uh, excuse me?
Okay, so what did we unlock for new inventions? Um, farmer, fighter, plot, grow speed is faster. Probably do that. Um, so invent. Wrapped hands. Wrapping your hands that support um, power attack damage is increased. All right, I mean, that's cool. A proximity mine, it's a mine. Like, they don't need to explain it. It's a mine. You plunk it on the ground, something gets close, and it goes kaboom. Oh, it just struck me. With all those ingredients I found, um, other than the truffles, which we're going to not use right at the moment, I can probably um, cook anything else that we have the recipe ingredients for. Uh, so not the tr well, actually I have a bunch of truffles. Yeah, I can make that. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Cool. Um, do I have that? I've got the 10 berries. I don't have the wheat. I don't have the wheat, I don't have the fish, I don't have the fish. Uh, I don't have the fish, don't have the wheat. Um, we don't have the onions, don't have the fish, the wheat. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of stuff we're just waiting on wheat and all that. That's fine. Alright. So there's lots of steel here. I can get my hands on. It can't destroy that yet. Let's get this steel here that I've been overlooking this whole time. Is, actually, like, is there really going to be more down here? It's fine. Oh, I can't get up there quite yet. All right. And the added bonus is not only is it giving me steel, it's giving me the circuit boards. Okay. Um, are those the question marks? Um, only to earn your experience? Uh, the question marks are basically tutorial stuff. Um, and then the exclamation marks, I believe, were um, quests that once you do them, they disappear. Mostly exclamation marks were kill thing. So we need to run back because I actually have two full stacks of steel now. Because I hadn't realized that we had all those telephone poles because the last time I ran through here I couldn't break them. Then I was like looking for resources. Um, so I hadn't realized I was just sitting on a small stockpile of that. Now I believe we needed seven um, rubber. Sorry, we needed seven rubber to... Oh, I don't need to go that one. We can just go up here. Um, 
to do the thing and then a bunch of circuit boards. Which that said, I do not have. More telephone poles. I'm assuming in this case that they keep going straight up this way. Yeah, and then they go outside the perimeter. Trying to see if there was more opportunities for, um, rubber around here. Not looking like it too much, though. Um, in the meantime, I guess we go ahead and upgrade our hat. Alright, that requires lumber. We'll, we'll wait on doing the more steel stuff. I have a feeling once we get the titanium, steel will come like super easy. Uh, let's check up here to see if there's any rubber I missed. I think we had a couple of big tires I couldn't break the last time. No, nah, I came back through here, didn't I? It's fine. Um, Where could I find a decent source of rubber? There's no I need at least seven for the area down below. Um, The thing I could also do is start working our way north to the cold area. Alright, I gotta go around because of the walls. Because then I'll likely run into new materials and all that kind of stuff. We can fast travel up here. And I'll need to switch my clothing real fast uh, for cold weather. So take this Put on my hot water bottle. Take my outfit. My outfit's fine. Take my hat. Put on that. Let's make sure that link array is upgraded. At this point, I've been getting the materials to kill these things fast enough that, like, anytime I have a way that doesn't isn't set for um deadly transmissions, I'm just gonna do. Ascension signal, transmit a high energy mana powered signal that ripples throughout time and space. Transmitter breaks after transmission. Respawns all monsters as tougher versions. Now monsters award more experience than before. Okay. That has interesting implications. Um, if I were to do that, I'd go to an area I've already cleared, though. Okay, so let's run up here. Alright, so I had a campfire north of here. And that's where we bailed from, was way up north there. That's fine. Is 
So we got a unit of rubber. There's another unit of rubber over here. There we got a campfire up here. All right, and that'll take us into the area where we got all the wolves and all that. Not wolves. They'll take us in the snow area. Oh. That's steel, so I'll want that. Okay, so still just regular materials. The good news here is that means I have enough of the rubber. So basically I have enough materials now, as long as I don't spend it on anything, I can open up that gate to the south. Probably example right after release. <laughs> now it's dismantled. It's a it's a fun game. It's very arcadey compared to Project Zomboid. Um, as you can probably figure by the fact that like we have dodge rolls and all sorts of nonsense going on. But um, it's a fun game. They just it's like very resource collection focused. Alright, do I know of Narc Campfire in the area? I don't. But the Link Tower is right there, so let's go for the Link Tower, because usually they seem to like to put campfires right near the Link Tower. Really? You're here by it? I wonder what happens if I peg you with a grenade. You seem to actually be slowed. Alright, so we do have a campfire and a link tower right next to each other, so get all that put away real fast, grab this stuff. Do this, looks like there's even more rubber down that. Down there to drop off or to grab. You know what? I shouldn't have done that. I should have upgraded this first and then hit the campfire, because then those things would have stayed dead. Uh, not wise, I de de broke that fence. Yeah, no, I'll be fine. I'm going to put the, uh, the keep things dead thing up and that'll be fine. Transmitters. Deadly. Yup. Okay, scanner, yep. 
Okay, close. sorted. Alright, we got more pipes and stuff to break in here for materials. Can't break any of that, that's fine. Alright, none of that what do we really care about. Just trash everything. Oh, lots of steel over here. That's been over a full stack of steel in that one room, and there's more pipes to go. Okay. I remember the first time I played this, a bunch of people were saying, oh, you really, really, really don't want to use the things to make the enemies stop respawning early. Like, you know, you'll just screw yourself kind of thing. I wonder if that was a thing that's like a carryover from the beta that you didn't want to do that. Um, because especially with stuff like Ascension being a thing, it's like, like, oh, it's just a piece of thing on the wall. Like, very much I'm like, oh no, like, really, I kind of want to use those as fast as I can. This makes my life easier that I'm not dealing with a bunch of enemies I don't care about anymore. Okay. So we trashed all that stuff, we hit the tower. Um, we got all the supplies we need to go west later to the checkpoint. Let's see, in the beta there was not many places you can go. Also, materials and upgrades are a bit of a problem. They wanted, um, too much. Gotcha. I do still like that you, like, you have this big expensive relay tower and you just go, Oh, this giant electrical box right next to it. Yeah, I'll just smash that for materials. It's probably not important. All right, so upgrade. So, okay. Let's avoid using the rubber if I can. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it alone. Because the rubber I need for being able to progress down below, and I'm sure there's more enough materials like everywhere. Okay, I was not expecting that to one shot the dog. Okay. Alright, so we got a correctional facility. Which is fortunately just unlocked, you know. Would hate would hate the correctional facility to, you know, be, be locked up or anything. So this is the famous Maxim Security Jail. I heard people pretty bad were kept in here.
Just breaking all that stuff up front. Alright. Drop you off. Okay, so we got a time chest. Alright, what are you going to tell me? The gate that leads farther into the prison has been locked. Search for a key in other parts of the building. Okay. Seventy. That still amuses me that genuinely you could upgrade past it and just be like, yeah, that key thing. I don't care and just, you know, takes a sledgehammer and goes right through it. Okay, and drop this off. Let's see, the C, the key seems to be in the Curtis, um, whatever police department. Basically clean out this whole area of the prison, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to advance the prison right now because the key to it is elsewhere and I have noticed like very clearly back here is where the actual Energy cell is which is why we're here. So where oh You want me to go all the way down there? Okay, that's not what I was anticipating All right, I mean There we shall go if the door is locked, the door is locked. That said, I think in that case what I'll do is we'll fast travel down below again. Um, I will grab the rubber and circuit boards to fix my way to go west. All right. Yeah, so we've got tons of stuff waiting to upgrade because of the rubber we've been bottlenecked on. Um, but let's go ahead and we will travel. I think that's the one I want. So I'm going to rest here so I don't have to keep teleporting. I'm going to take two seconds, I'm going to use the restroom, and I'm going to be right back. So thank you again for everyone who's been tuning in from the Dorky Tag Pod. Subscribe to the bits of the host, the donos, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. Um, and as a reminder, tomorrow we're doing a charity stream. Yeah, I thought it was Curtis. Yeah, it was the Curtis Police Department, which is just like in a region to the east of us. Um, yeah. So tomorrow is a charity stream. We're doing Games for Love, which is another one of these organizations that bring uh, bring games into, like, Children's hospitals, that kind of thing, to give some kids the normalcy of life when they're dealing with, you know, the stuff you deal with in the hospital. Um, so we're doing that tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on. Got a bunch of milestones, a bunch of nonsense. It's a lot better organized than my past charity streams, so it should be a lot of fun. All right, I'll be back in just a couple minutes.
Okay, chat. You know what the heck am I doing for dinner? I just realized we got a bit over half an hour before I need to make that happen. I'm actually going to be a brat. It's probably too late, but I'm going to see if wife wants to pick some up. Give me two seconds, and then we'll get back to it. Okay. Because we didn't send it right the second she get on her way home, and then that would definitely not happen. It's not feeling like doing anything meaningful cooking-wise today. But you never know. She might be in the same mindset. Okay, so before we run over there, I need to go to our box. Take materials. You can now remove materials. Removing materials costs more XP than putting materials back in. Oh, well, I don't like that. So five, six, seven. I don't remember how many, so we'll do... Ow! It took a bunch of my XP's. Alright, so we're trying to get... here. And I want to not touch a campfire or anything, because if I do, I'll automatically put the stuff back away. And if I put the stuff back away, then I'll have to, you know, take it out again and take the ding of the XP again. It's interesting that it made it so you literally lose XP effectively by taking it out and then putting it back in as opposed to breaking even. Like, I'm not against that choice, it's just an odd choice. Probably text to him too late about that. Don't touch it, stay away from it. Yeah, you get XP for putting stuff in chests. Yeah, like, I'm fine with it taking the XP back. But it was specifically saying, hey, you lose more XP by taking it out than you gain by putting it in. That was the thing. I was like, huh. I wonder why they made it so it doesn't break even. Okay. Yep, no, it's all good. So where's the relay here? Well, we have a campfire right there. Okay, so the, the that the relay is like way in there. That's fine. Okay. Yay! I'm getting tacos. Give me two seconds. Because, like, I noticed the time was like, oh man, and like, just, you know, like 15 minutes, like, alright, I'm gonna have to run downstairs. I'm gonna have to get stuff going and all that, which is fine. I was like, I don't really want anything we have at the house. Uh, let's see. There's a lone notebook page on the ground. One of the guests is reportedly acting suspiciously. She has been seen moving valuable-looking items around, maybe even contraband. 
The motel's office should have the guest and room information. Uh, you had you had valuables. You had me at money. Oh, that is actually a lot of people. I mean, I guess it's a lot formerly known as people. Okay, so that's blocked. I guess it's just blocked because it had decent materials in it. Stop just sharpening that thing in there. It's weirding me out. <laughs> Bogey Eskil, Rome 4. I don't actually have room for that one moment. How am I supposed to know which room is room four? Oh, I should just... That's interesting. It's still showing the search option on some of this stuff. So room four, but I don't see a way to identify the rooms, like which one's which. I mean, at least I can hate Kool-Aid my way through. Front of truck. Oh, probably this one. Yeah, that's fine. There's a hidden note behind the thing. Dear accomplice, the items are getting a bit too hot to keep in here. I stashed both the car keys, um, both the car's keys and its location behind the office toilet seat. Meet me later. Ah, uh, yes. I, too, always, you know, leave incriminating notes behind that say, Dear Accomplice. Let's run back over the fire and drop all this off. Okay, just clearing all the stuff out. Okay, so behind the toilet. There's no note. Here's the key. The car is in the parking lot west of Underfield. Um, there was a number on top of the door, if you're wondering how I know. Oh, on top of the door? Yeah, I was trying to look around. I didn't see the number. 
Motel guest car key. Well, if it was there, I think it's gone now. So it says it's by Underfield. I don't know where that is. That's okay. We'll find it eventually. Yeah, try not to uh to spoil it too much. Oh good. I just really like it this phase of the game where it's just like that's I didn't mean to throw a grenade directly in my face but you know here we are that is what actually occurred Bonk. Aw, you turn a last second wait I'm pretty sure I've killed a hurler before Not the same? I guess. I was a bit surprised when I wailed on it. It's like, wait, you didn't die. Like, it almost did, so I was like, oh, maybe it's just... There's just slightly less damage. Um, oh, West Underfield? Alright, well... Let's quickly drop off a bunch of this junk we have on us. So not the campfire, just the box. Because I want to keep all of these dead until I can get to the uh, the relay or array, whatever it is. Because um, if I do that, then they'll stay dead. They said west of Underfield. Try and get to this place best we can. Remember the snakes. Okay. There's my way through, I see it. Just go up here, 
Smash through these boxes, smash through this fence, smash through the dumpster. Alright. I could touch the fire to light it. Don't touch the fire to actually rest at it, though, because that'll reset the enemies. Smashing everything. Got ourselves some potatoes. We now know how to make pancakes. We can now cut through here. The car is not here. Attention, all unauthorized vehicles will be towed at the owner's expense. For more information, contact Finch's Auto Salvage. It says here that the salvage yard is located north of here. Could that be where the car is? Probably. I would like to get to the, I mean, the array is northwest, so I guess it's mostly in the same direction. I do wish after a certain um, strength in your equipment, you wouldn't have to like switch weapons to tear stuff apart. Alright, let's go west and try and see if we can't get around over here. squeeze in here no uh that's all solid give myself a little more room to work okay yeah i can't get through there Angry doggos. Okay, good. Another place we can drop stuff off. Alright, light it, but do not click again. Let's see, when you searched for the car, I did not see the billboard at first. I wasted 15 minutes looking around. Ah, uh, 
I was like, okay, what's the first thing I can interact with nearby? All right, done with a doggo. The car that this key belongs to is an orange van. Okay. An orange van, you say. Oh, it's also before we get too hurt. Katana. Deadly blade, blade inspired by the land of the rising sun. Each monster melee plus one targets. So it's lower slash damage, but... The misplaced getaway car's uh, door unlocks. After pulling the rusted door open, you gain access to the spoils of the crime. Yeah, so basically we learned how to make a katana. We don't have one, but we learned how to make it. Um, I'm still not going to tag the fire just yet. Because I'm trying to get to that link tower right there. Because um, like I said, if I get to there without using a campfire to reset, or to rest, or whatever you want to say, um, then we can... Um, screw it. All right, so... Alright, so we have all this. I don't see our way over there. So the way could be down this way, because there's a dirt road over there, or it could be up here. Actually, it's probably not there. Well, no. They might sneak past here. Alright, that's fine. I think I'll try north first. Once I get just a bit more... um. Wait, actually? Yes, yeah, so this is where we're going to be able to cross. We definitely want to probably go north to get there. Um, but once we get just a little bit more strength behind where I can start tearing apart some of these cars, that place is going to be amazing for material. Alright, this is not like encouraged. Okay, so we're blocked in from that side. I can't get around those cars. Um. Hi, you hit hard. Oh good, even though I didn't rest at it, I still spawned here. I was actually expecting to spawn at the last one I did have. Well, that's annoying. So much for that. So yeah, where you mentioned the hurdlers were different, I was like, it didn't seem that different. I I understand now. They were a bit different. 
Um, they're way better than explosive barrels. Yeah, alright, um... Cut through a... Put a hole in the fence up here. Or not. Where was that hole I made in the fence over here? There it is. Whiff. Well, now I feel way less worried about... With two explorers and barrels, they could be okay late game character. That's fine. Strange energy. You have encountered strange phenomena crackling with unknown energy. It seems to affect your perception of time. This particular... A peculiar puzzle um, that should be investigated farther. Find a link tower and scan for the unnatural signatures. Okay, like we've seen tons of these. It's interesting that only now it's like, yeah, we should probably see what this is. Alright, so I can't get through here. Um, I just keep going wider and wider around this place and it's really annoying. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. The idea is it's one of the four things I need to, in theory, finish the game. Now, it could be more story. Exploded a puppy. Alright. Um, so the bummer is, that's the whole cliff area, and then we just go around this way. So I think that's actually not the right direction. Yeah, I'll go so. Not a whole lot. Um, mean doggo things. They're they're popping. Thanks to explosive barrels. They're all like, I'm gonna bite your face. And I'm like, that's a red barrel. Bonk. Ow. Oh, I should have checked about making the uh, the katana while I was there. Let's try and go south this time, see if we can't figure out where we can um get around to that array. It's like the funny thing is you're supposed to be here for the energy cell. I'm like, no, I just want the array. I want to be able to make it so I can turn off the enemy respawn for the area. That's all I want. Now I can gradually and systematically clear the entire area. Bonk. All right.
Okay, we've killed a thousand monsters. This is promising for us potentially getting across the river. And the promise is gone. Okay. Guess we'll just keep going around. Oh yeah, you. I have no idea how much steel I'm going to need in the long run, so every opportunity I get to get steel, I'm taking it. It's twice I've made that mistake. I'm not backing up enough when I go to the charge shot. So instead of getting away, I get caught. Okay, so we finally found a bridge. Okay, light the fire. Do not rest at the fire. I do not want them to respawn. Just search us from the other side just to be safe. So I don't accidentally set up the fire when I'm not meaning to. A bunch of welcoming friendly messages promise sanctuary. Perhaps there are other people here? Follow the signs to sanctuary. Um, this isn't our investigation thing. You rip what you sow. Um. What? Okay. I do not trust this field at all. Alright, so we made ourselves a route in for when it calms down. Okay. Um, that wasn't part of the plan. The link tower in the area appears to be have been vandalized and broken. A note reveals the new parts that can be found at Pike's Steel Manufacturing, west side of the Narrows Vale. Travel to Pike Steel, fix the link. Expecting that um that the screw loose farmer is the one attacking the tower. The next guy needs. Uh, to get titanium and iron from Pike Steel Manufacturing. Um, west from here, next to West Cutter. Well, I really just wanted to turn that on for fast travel. And I want it to be a whole thing. Alright, well, let's run over here and lower the bridge. 
Just the next time I come by, it's not as much of a hassle. So it says it's west of the cutter, whatever. Oh, you're all the way over there. Ooh. Wait, is that is that where it is? Quests. Um. There's a link tower. So, all right. So that's one of our keys. Okay, yeah. So we got the energy cells there, there, and there. So that is that is the quest. All right. So I need to get west of there. High obvious dig spot. I'm actually pretty bummed about this because it's been wanting to turn that tower on this whole time. Just to uh, make this not a big hassle. And then we get there and it's busted. So we can't even do it after all that work. Which it's fine. But it's like, aw man. I don't trust this field, I don't trust this field. Okay. Alright, so we dealt with him. Uh, I really hope that we end up being able to make all this stuff happen. How can I tell where those are going to appear or not? There's got to be a tell, right? You know what? I'll deal with you all later. Um, okay. So we've got a ruin up here. Does your gosh be different? Yeah, it's starting to try and look for that. Like, where it would be, like, all cracked or whatever. I hadn't noticed it too much yet, but it could be I just failed to notice it in general. Okay.
game, you may not realize it, but I have done a lot of these kind of puzzles over the years. Okay, I think I see it. Why would I think that would make any kind of difference? see. So let's go back down here just like we did before. Hit that. Push this up one. Push up once. Run back. Turn it off. Um. I don't see what else I'm supposed to be pushing to get that open, but still in thing through the whole way. Gotcha. Alright, so I just need to put it back. So hit you. Put you back. Pop you. Back on. Run down here. Pop that lever. We're all good here. And we're sold. I was overcomplicating it. Alright. I have a whole lot of side quests that haven't been getting done. Ranger's cabin. Not worry about doing all these other little side places at the moment. I'm just trying to get the array online before I put all my time into clearing and doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, build smelters to accelerate your steel and titanium production. Invent and craft the builder's kit. Build another smelter. Okay. So input, so that makes titanium, fuel, oh, I've got fuel for you. Hey, Iggy, how's it going? Alright, so you're, you're smelting that. Okay, so now I see why it's like, yeah, you should actually base build. It's just that it doesn't take an eternity. Yeah, now I realize I need more than one. Oh, I can sit there and just up the amount. Alright, hear me out. We're gonna go for, like, 30.
Yeah, no, I figure I'm gonna have to sleep to make it happen. Yep, no, it's 10 titanium output. Need a smelter now to craft iron. Yep. Yeah, so the thing I'll probably want to do is like actually go to where we have a place like base build and base build. Yeah, the gimmick of this game is almost everything in the game is destructible. Like, the only real exceptions are stuff that's, like, relevant to the storyline kind of stuff. But everything else, like, even the walls. If we go here, I can, like, go up to the wall and start banging on it. If I had 85 damage, I can destroy it. Wrecked cars. 75 damage. Like, basically everything is destructible. You just need to have enough damage to do it. It says, like, a weird catharticness of it. Where you end up just destroying everything. Um... But if I fast forward, I have to re-kill all the monsters. I'm hoping it gets just that one, um... That one titanium real fast. Well, never mind. I'll still have to craft it, won't I? Unless there's a crafting bench nearby. Um, that way I could just upgrade my wrench. And be able to tear apart way more stuff. I'm just gonna have to accept that I'm going to have to reset it. I don't want to reset it. I want the things to stay dead. There's no workbenches here anywhere. Boo, game. Who is you? I just have to accept that I'm going to have to clear everything again. It's fine. That was weird. All right. The treasure hunter, which will mark the stuff on the map when you're close enough. Did not press start. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, we'll do that one. It had been so long since I hit the, uh, the bench that just didn't show. All right, before I do any of the stuff, oh, right down here, the katana. Um, yep. Let's go to upgrading our things. So first, we're upgrading the wrench. Okay, so it's just four titanium to do the next level on the wrench. So many things to upgrade. All right, let's hold off and I'm upgrading, upgrading anything else from it. Um, let's run over here. So I've got that going as hard as we can, and our characters gonna take themselves a little sleepy sleep. Okay, and I imagine Tomb will probably be home any time now. Okay. So now we're going to upgrade our wrench again. Cool. So I now have a wrench that does 65 damage, which is a significant improvement. I think you need six uh, for the tower. Yeah, I have to double check what it was. Did 
Because the way I figured it, it was worth me taking the time to do it in advance. Um, materials, so I'm at four. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, Zopside? <laughs> Alright, but Tomb should be home very soon. Um, and I want to run down and help her bring stuff in real fast. And she was kind enough to, like, run and make food happen. Alright, so not quite at the point I can break that. Oh, you're gonna try to find... Um, as a heads up, I am going to be changing the voice on TTS soon. Um, the thing I have been using the, the fuel, it had it like, as long as you keep it under a certain amount, they let you have it for free. And they're doing away with that. Um, and when that happens, you know, I'm just going to have to find something else because I'm not paying the amount of money it would be. So it's unfortunate that's going to be changing. Yeah, I'll still have it. It just won't be the same voice. I'll have to find a new, a new voice or new thing. It also kind of sucks that the, um... There's been a free one for streamers for a while, but it has to go through Streamlabs. And I don't use Streamlabs anymore. <laughs> so, I've been trying to figure it out. Because I want to avoid going to just, like, the default Microsoft voice. But I gotta do more research in it. So Twitch makes you pay for it now or something? Oh, it's not Twitch. I'm using a third party for the text-to-speech voice. Um, the text-to-speech thing happens on my end, not on Twitch's end. But, um, it's using... Google has a thing that it does text-to-speech, is what I've been using, because they offer... For, like, they make it free as long as you're not doing more than a certain amount for, I believe it's a month. Um, and it's just they're doing away with that free thing. So if they don't do anything, it'll just automatically stop working when it goes to paid only. Alright. So that'll be five. Yeah, no, it's, um, there's the point redeem, and I have my bot watches for the point redeem, and then it plays the sound when it, when it sees the point redeem. Yeah, so none of these are stuff to break things. Oh, I had the master lock. Um. I want that, but not yet. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward time to get through this set of titanium. Um, and then I might run back to the main area. I'm not tired yet. Well, that's not helpful, buddy. Because I reset all the enemies and I didn't even get the payout of getting my titanium on the other side of it. Well, all right. Well, first of all, never mind. What does it cost me to actually build one of those? Is it something I can do reasonably?
Oh yeah, we can do that very reasonably. Okay. Um, in that case, what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna get the heck back home and start getting our materials moving. All right, so let's get the hell out of here. And I'm not motivated to kill anything that isn't directly in my way, just because they won't stay dead. Okay. Uh -huh. I use the power of touching a fire. And I believe... Was it just up here that has the bridge across? Yeah. It was kind of a mean tease over here. It's fine. I don't care. Chase me. Unfortunately, I gotta run all the way down here. Yeah, I still can't break through all that, so I gotta go around. Okay. Because I just need to get my material production. Oh! That looks interesting. knew when it was the exploding was like oh I'm gonna corner myself aren't I it's fine it... I'm cool with it having been things I wish it wasn't the thing that lets you fast travel that was the thing that we needed titanium for just because this is very inconvenient Okay, so we got a bonfire over here. Well, campfire, not bonfire. Assuming Tomb should be home any time now. Like I said, I want to want to try and catch her when she's on her scene. It take two seconds to wrap you. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's right. All right. So before I get too far, let me go ahead and do a quick edit because I can say. There. I put a nickname for you on my own so I could see that you'd prefer to be called Eggnog. That way I hopefully don't forget. It means Crazy Hunter Trapper. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So we get back to it. So for the... Alright. Wasn't set up to the correct keyboard layout. For those who missed, um... 
we are playing Dismantle, which is a game where you can destroy pretty much everything. Um, and right now I'm just trying to get back to where we can make our base, the excavation site? No, is the Tabula Rasa. I only realize now that it's the Tabula Rasa. For those who don't know, the Tabula Rasa is a thing... I mean, it probably has a reference before this, but the thing I know it from is Path of Exile. It's the... You can get earlier on that, um... You can put all this stuff up. Where, where am I trying to go again? Oh, we're going down here. The checkpoint. There we go. I'm sure it's probably a reference to something else. Yeah, you get hot, caught with that, it kills you instantly. Okay, so our gravestone is right over there. That's fine. Blank slate uh, theory that people have their own free will. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was like, it has to be a reference to something else, because I've heard it before outside of Path of Exile. That works in that reference. Basically learn as they go. Yeah. So that does still works in the context because it's just a big open area to like build your own base or whatever. Sorry, I was lurking. Muted. No problem. I was just calling out the scores there at the end. Okay. So I just wanted to go over here and fast travel. That's ah, all the way over there. And fast travel back to where we can base build. Because uh, we just got the ability to start making titanium. And so pretty much I just need to get a bunch of things smelters going. And I'm just tagging these that way. If I like, fall down a hole or something, I'll respawn back here. How many hours in this game I, am I? Um, not super far. Like, I want to say... Yeah, it's up there. I want to say I only have, like... Oh, what was it? Like, I've only played this game... Like, of all my runs together, I've only played about 15 hours. Um, And maybe... I'd guess 11 or 12 of them were this playthrough. Scan energy sources? Okay, so you have whatever that is way over there. Alright, fast travel. Um, oh no, that one's gonna be the close one. Really, we don't have fast travel straight to it? Oh, did I make the master key? Let's make the master key. I know that's using titanium, which is a premium thing. But I'm curious what this place I have locked inside. Because we went through and started clearing it. And then there was one room I couldn't go into because it required another better key. I'm suddenly realizing I didn't even need the master key. I could have just smashed away through. It's fine. Bricks. Okay. 
Carrot cake. So bricks is a new material for us. I'm going ahead and collecting a bunch of that real fast, just in case I need it, and I have a source for a right here. That's fine. We have a bunch of bricks here. All right, so if we look at this, I just had to go up and around. I'm just surprised there's not fast travel to where you can build your own base kind of thing. It feels like a weird choice. I miss it. Um, is this the first base you find after the starter zone? Yeah, so you finish the starter zone, you go just east, and that's, that's where we're at there. Oh, I just noticed that puts the enemy... How many enemies are left in the area down here? I didn't notice that before. Alright, so right over here is an area they've made specifically for you to base build in. But it's making it a big, giant, open area. Alright. So. Now I'm going to put a huge amount of effort into this. Well, let's go ahead and get something started here. All right, so I need to make some concrete platform and all that. Just clearing off a little bit more space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting smelters in here, and we'll do a little base building while I'm waiting for the smelters to make my materials. Let's get our thing here and let's look for some rocks to break. Yeah, you're still too tough, but all the little rocks I can break. I'm doing pretty good. How's it going, G-Wolf? I got all these big rocks, I need littler rocks. I can't remember, do the islands have some? Uh, that island up there to the right might have some rocks. How's this new game, little game going? It's going pretty good. we are making good progress, so we finally got to the point where we're going to be able to make some titanium. Uh, I might be able to break that one right here in the end. Nope. I'm wrong. Alright, so I need more stone because I made the place too big. So the next thing I'm going to do is make stairs real fast so I can put stuff on the platform. Come on, I ha couldn't have destroyed all the stones in the area. I wasn't really even going after them at any point.
Oh, I can go to the graveyards. That's what I can do to get stone. Because the graveyard walls are made out of lots of stone. That's where I got a bunch earlier. And I'm pretty sure I left one of the ones intact over here. Oh, I can break that one. I get just a little bit more damage where I can start breaking the bigger rocks. This is going to go way faster because we'll just be able to go up to areas and just clear out entire big chunks of rock. If we for the moment, I'll just go ahead and run over here and do this. Because I'm pretty sure there's a graveyard right here. I didn't finish destroying all the rocks or all the wall to it. And that should give us a bunch of um, stone in our materials. Oh, there's an enemy we haven't killed yet. Alright, um, in that case... All right. I appreciate that they don't have durability as a concept in this game. Oh, I've got you all set so you stay dead. Well, let's kill you all real fast. It'll also be super nice and I could tear apart all these cars. Just to make it so running around here will be super easy by comparison. Cool. What do you give me when I break you? I don't remember. Stone as well. Telephone pole still in need? Um, I definitely want to grab him when I see him. But I also have the lampposts now, and the lampposts are a bit more lucrative. Because ultimately grabbing this steel here means I don't have to smelt my own steel, which just saves us time with the smelter.
Oh, did I actually? Oh, wait, never mind. It's over here. I was about to say, it's like, wait a second. Oh, I thought I actually threw it. Or pulls by a car pile as well. Yeah, I'm sure I missed some. Yeah, now you have a smelter, it's a lot more lenient on that. It's just, I need to actually make the smelter so... I can have it smelting while I'm doing other things. Let's run down, drop all this in the fire. Or in the storage box. Then circle back. I think the idea is I want to get the smelter up and running as soon as I can. That way... Wait, can I destroy these yet? It's amusing that I could even destroy, like, the ancient ruins and all that. Yeah, because the good news is steel is actually pretty easy to come by now because these lights are almost everywhere. Let's start working our way back up here. Let that campfire to the right, and then we'll start running north. Let's see. So I want to go over there. Well, that's a curiosity. That car is sitting on top of the barricade, and usually when I destroy stuff that um has stuff sitting on top of it, it falls and gets destroyed. Okay, they're smart enough to not let you do that. Alright, get ourselves some hides and all that. Yeah, the fact that we can, like, cut down all of these trees and everything, like, just really cut down everything, um, has just, like, fascinating implications to what you can do in this game. Minecraft ARPG? Uh, I mean, it does have the resource gathering. It doesn't have, like, voxel building or anything like that. Alright, so we cross the point, get to disappear. Here, let's get rid of that mark. Okay. Make a bank slate, allow nature to truly take over. Yep, okay, so...
All right, so we're starting to build this. So you can build walls now. Wait a second. Ah, I see. Well, that's super annoying. I didn't know they had like different sides to them. I wonder if I get all my materials back. I hope so. Yeah, the white should be on the inside. I didn't catch that there was different sides to him until I was like halfway through. I'm like, what? I think I'm getting all of it back. I'm not getting like splinter or anything back, I'm just getting full things. I kind of wish it would have let me in place replace it, but it didn't let me do that. I managed to almost perfectly have it the exact opposite of what it was supposed to be. Can you repair or just break down and build new? Uh, I have no idea. It's the first time I've done any base building in this game. I assume if you leave it alone for long enough, it, like, automatically replaces it. Alright, so let's try this again. We'll start with the windows. Okay, so those windows are all fine. There's the door frame. Okay, so we've got that. Um, this is the important thing that actually is the reason I'm doing all this. Cool. All 
All right. That should be enough for now. Let's go ahead and replace you with... Basil Bat. All right, so first contestant, we are going to put in some heck and steel. Second contestant, we're going to make some heck and steel. Third contestant, we're going to make the iron bars. And what do you do? You make mana chunks. Let's figure out what I need a mana chunk for before we start doing it. Okay, so now I've got a whole bunch of stuff being built. Um, the thing I am finding curious is I never saw the ability to, um, make a bunch of the other stuff. All right, so we got a bunch of things. Grown things. Okay, so nothing I care about upgrading right now. We'll mark you. Mark you. They got a lot of stuff that's waiting on lumber. Um, For new stuff to craft, we can make a storage box discount. Taking materials out of the storage box doesn't... It doesn't take as much XP. I actually don't really care about that that much. Berserker Charm. A savage rage is contained in this mythical trinket. Damage block minus 50 damage. 55%, but extra damage to enemies. Uh, probably not anytime soon, friend. Tear down efficiency. Get all materials used when breaking things. I thought I was already getting that, but the materials are cheap, so let's go ahead and do that. Basic decorations, sure. Inner walls, why not? Paintbrush, yes please. Kitchen furnishings, uh-huh. Kitchen appliances, sure, why not? Greenhouse essentials, you have me interested. Concrete platforms, okay. Didn't, I'm literally already building concrete platforms. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, do you take anything I care about? Nope, go ahead and process you. And you are good to go. Um, yeah, I got spares of all that stuff. We made a baseball card. All right, so I need more steel for the hand wraps. Um,. I don't care about those quite yet. I have plenty of these materials, so we can go ahead and make the mines. And the monster scanner special item. Reveals monsters in the current area. Yep, so that's definitely a winner. Cool. Why wait for some of that stuff to smelt? I'm just going to start trashing everything here. Put that road up there. 
Oh, yeah, so that one I gotta take to the other side. Right, because I need to go to the Curtisfield Police Department over there. Um, well, that's a link tower. That actually wouldn't be that hard to get a hold of. The thing I do need to figure out is how I get lumber. So we're not getting anything from that. Okay, so let's try running over here. Taking ourselves a quick sleep. I was expecting that to actually have me go to sleep and not be just an animation of me laying on the ground, but sure, to each their own, I guess. Alright. Cooking. What do we got that we can make happen? Um, not a whole lot, because almost all this is depending on wheat. So I'm seeing here that I'm going to need a heck of a lot of wheat. Oh, here. Um, sleep. Any farm this area? Uh, I haven't seen yet. And sure find out though, because if I take this off and I put the hoe in. Yeah, now it's not giving me a place that can flag. That said, there was a um there was a greenhouse thing that it could be I build the greenhouse and I could farm inside the greenhouse area. I noticed the um the mini map is showing where the logs were that I just broke, even after I destroyed them. Okay, there's nothing down there. Alright, so I did get a bunch more stones. I can actually make even more stuff. Well, these boxes seem to have good materials inside of them. Got a bunch of stone out of one of them and a bunch of the other ones. Alright. That's fine. Okay, so we just need iron and ceramics for the mine. Go ahead and do that. I don't know why my card needs electronics, but sure. All right, let's go with invent instead. We can make a hard hat, which takes three steel. It increases our build limit. Damage block. Oh, that's resistance to damage. I was about to say, like, damage block. I was like, what? So, concrete platforms. Toilets and furnishings. Alright. Oh, hey, more poles I can break. So let's drop you off in the box. 
So at least I have this where I can dump a whole bunch in here and just basically let it let it run and come back to it later. All right, so how far is my farm from here? Yeah, so that's unfortunately a link relay. And I don't believe I can, you know, go to a link relay. Oh, what was it we were looking at making? Oh, so there's this one. I'm not going to do that one just yet. Monster Scanner. So I need more steel for that. That actually should be pretty easy to do. Right, I can't, I can't do this. So let's run over to our farm, gather steel along the way. Um, and this time around at the farm, I'm just going to make the whole thing just about wheat. Um, because wheat is what I need for so many of my recipes. That and fish, and I've been very lazy about taking the time to just sit down and fish. Um, even though I have been deliberately leveling it as much as I can, because it makes it faster. So here's our farm. Let's drop off all our materials. So I think what I might do is I might take one solid roll and make it just the wheat. And start using whatever leftovers we have for cooking. And maybe do the same for all of the different crops. Each crop will get its own row. And I'll do that just till we get the recipes done. I don't see a need to try and get all of the recipes to, like keep eating them. Like you get the stat bonus the first time you make everything. After that they just heal. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. How much have we grown? Enough that my entire inventory combined cannot handle it. So change you to be the seed bag. We will switch you to being wheat. Alright, so there's our wheat. Do the onions next. Lettuce. 
Now potato. And I might skip on the tomato and the carrots because I have so much right now until they get a little bit lower. Just to save myself time on the actual like farming at a given moment. Okay, so we've got that. The corn looks... Yeah, I think the others are all good on. I just have like large amounts. It's just the ones I planted. We don't have as much. Alright, so let's see what we can go ahead and make food-wise. Cook. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Does the order matter? It does matter. Okay. So I enjoyed yourself a nice hamburger. Um, I don't have any onions. I don't have the fish, but I can make you happen. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I made ourselves some bread. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It made possible an A's. Excellent. So the only things... Oh, yeah, I have a whole bunch. So I got a whole bunch of stuff I need fish for. Um, some stuff I need onions for. Um, and the rest are waiting on wheat. So we're good there. Let's uh, wait for the next harvest. All right. Oh, um, I think those enemies will die if I kill them up here. But since I see them, let's get rid of them. Yep, they're forever die up here. Cool. Alright, so we did that, and now I need to get up here anyways, so let's just go ahead and run north and start working our way over. Wait, was there something I meant to craft? Let's, let's run over here and make sure it wasn't something I meant to craft. I feel like there was something I was going to craft that we were grabbing steel for. And I feel like, oh, I think it was the, I think it was like the enemy raider. What are you? Monster lure, material transport. Yep. Um, invent. And we have our hand wraps that do extra damage to stuff we hit. We also have the hard hat. Um, we'll do the storage box discount just to get it out of the way. Alright, so let's check. Does it need to be equipped? Alright, so don't see it here. Um, I don't really care about the evasion chance. Ah, so you take an item slot. Um, I'm gonna unequip. You know, I'm gonna unequip you. Yeah, so the idea is that I'm trying to clear areas. Yeah, so this zone is telling me I've got 148 enemies in the area I haven't killed, so there's no reason for me to scan it. Because there's just such a high number of monsters that... We're gonna find them.
Yeah, almost everything is waiting on timber. Just running around killing stuff as fast as we can. And getting hit because I'm being sloppy. Did your map map always show you the monster around you? I think it did when I did not the not the thing I just made, but when we started upgrading the areas. I think when I have an area where it has the statistics, it'll show the statistics anywhere. Is what I think happened. They're trying to keep me out. How dare they? I think it's pretty neat. I see that we have become the one who knocks. Yep. It is, it's fun to be like, oh, there's an area with monsters in it. Well, we're going to go in here like we're the Kool-Aid man. And like our damage is getting really good, so I could be very aggressive, just slap things down real fast. Okay. This movie, movie music plays games to let the zombies know we're coming. Yeah, it's like, does anyone here have metal? I came into this area early on, and it was rough. The two mini-type bo boss in the middle of town. Yep. Like, you see how much a difference it makes as you start to, like, gear up and equip. You can just absolutely abuse the area. You run to prom, no prom, just start smashing. I'd still get killed pretty easy. Like the big, the big fat guys that like shoot stuff out in front of them. If you get directly on top of them when they do like their burst shot, it counts as like three, four individual hits for a lot of damage. Or for food, does it increase hit points only count towards zombie rank object? For food, does the increase for hit points only count towards the zombies or any objects? Um, when I when my character eats foods, I get more hit points. I don't, I don't see why the zombies would get, you know, anything from me eating food, unless I'm just misunderstanding, what what you're asking. But yeah, so I got to run north and around. That's right. Yeah, when you eat food, you get, like, a boost to stats. It's not only hit points, there's a couple different ones, but it's you get a boost to stats that's permanent.
All right. I'm at the point I'm just upgrading anything I can. Huh. Oh, I bet you have to go over here, then down and around. I see. That's fine. I was like, huh, really, I have to keep going this way. Hi, dog. Hi, puppy. Get that steel. All right, so running over here, we've exited the area that stays dead. Yeah, so let's run down and get these bridges done first. Now I can worry about the array. I'm not going to worry too much about killing stuff, like, to clear and all that kind of stuff right now. Because the array is in the wrong direction, it's going to be a pain to get to. Quarantine is now declared to cover the whole island. Do not leave your house under any circumstance. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Okay. Just, just waiting for it to be like, hey, Kool Aid, smash. Not a locked door. Which door's locked on? I can't actually break. That's probably it, because... 
I'd imagine the police department would be reasonably well reinforced. Say, I can break brick walls, but I can't break full blown concrete walls yet. Alright, let's run down here real fast. So that's one bridge sorted. And that's the... Okay. Yes, that's the shortcut back over here. We can quickly run back, drop off our materials. I suddenly realized that's not what I wanted. I don't have to do that. Is that a thing that I can just send my materials back home once per uh, outing? And soon I'll be able to do it more than once. Like, one by one, I'm just running around, ticking off one after the other. And right now, I'm just trying to drop these bridges before I forget about them. But by having those bridges down, it means I don't have to worry about running the whole way anymore. Alright, so let's get back over here. Just the whole thing with the lockpicks now, where they're borderline useless because I'm just smashing through all the walls. It amuses me way more than it probably should. Oh, you. Cool, from my thought it was going to be too far north that he wouldn't despawn, I'd have to go through all that again. That's okay. garlic mushrooms.
All right, let's drop this off. So I still can't just smash my way through there. It's fine. We're really close, though. I'm only like five, six damage below what I need to just, you know, go smash it through the walls and everything into pretty much any place. I assume that's like literally the next, um, next blunt weapon we get. I'll be at the point I can just kind of force my way through anywhere I need to. Okay. described in the green pamphlet, call for authorities, and stay in place. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Um, I can check it. I don't think I have a quest for Lumberyard. We can check real fast. Quests. Um, so have construction work, which is just to build our houses, the mysterious obelisks, the myths, and the tablets. Turn over a new leaf, which is to search the tall leaf piles, break into the prison, the strain energy, rip and sew, investigate the farmhouse at Sanctuary Farm, and the broken link. We have the archipelago, which is one of the DLC, the call for mana, which I believe is the other DLC, and escape the island. Yeah, so I think about the lumberyard. I probably just need to find out where it's located. Oh, you mistook the steel mill for lumberyard? Gotcha. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off this. There's a lot of circuits and everything in there. Uh, so I'm going to drop this off right here real quick. Um, then I'm going to run back in here. And like, like I said, there's a whole bunch of computers in that room, which is a lot of electric electronics in one place. So I'm going to take advantage of that real fast. Okay. These are just iron, right? Oh, they're not even that. They're plastic. Okay. I'm going to keep getting blown plastic, so I'm not going to turn down just a bunch of free plastic. Alright, so we've got all that going for us. So now I should be able to make my way back into the prison. Which we do have the link tower for. Wait, actually, you know what? We'll just we'll just run up. Um, the reason we'll just run up is, is like, oh, 
There's one area here that we don't keep the things dead that I gotta run through, which isn't a big deal. But then the next area, they stay dead. We haven't used the campfire proper since then, so shouldn't have to worry too much. But you would not be surprised if there, there isn't a lum mill. You can see a different going through ways. All right. Um. It's right up the lumber would be south, balance steel north. Yeah. I disagree. It could also be that in the world there's more than one place to get these things. Or to trigger the quest to get you to get these things. Because it seemed like on the one end the the steel mill or whatever it was, um, there was effectively a wall that I had to go through that I got the quest going through that wall. I need to sneak around this, that'd be perfect. Oh, hey, I actually got a nibble on me. Don't do that. All right, so now I should have the key to get in this place and cause some mayhem. The gate is open, but an eerie sounds reverberate around the barren walls. Partly taking the time to throw all the crap that's in the middle of the room as much as I can. Which hopefully make this all easier later. Alright, so it's looking like it's boss time. So, let's see. It's the same thing. I mean, it logically makes sense that they'd have the power cells in, like, the same kind of things. But at the same time, it's kind of disappointing because we already learned the fight.
cool. I'm breaking these for the steels in there. Maybe you can do these in the opposite order? Yeah. I don't think there's anything that was making it impossible for me to go here versus the other place. Or vice versa. So we have the gyroscope. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Nothing more over this way. Oh, we got a different room down here. Smoked fish pasta. Yeah, same bosses even... Can you smash the cell for steel? No, not yet, sadly. I assume once we get, like, one weapon stronger, they'll probably literally be able to do exactly that. All right. So now if we look at the map, we've got the thing up here. We didn't end up going to the Link Tower all the way up here. There's a giant northern area. So it's surprising we didn't. Um, so my assumption is we want to start trying to head west. The map is gargantuan. So assume we just start heading west and see how far we can go. I'm not going to worry about breaking every telephone pole on the way out. We're just trying to make time. Tag the fire. Alright, so it's all broken up here, so there's water here. So I can't I can't go west up here meaningfully. Uh that means I'm gonna need to drop down to probably this area and go west. Because we did manage to push through here. That's when I hit the manufacturing place. Honestly, that actually Let's check to see if there's another way there. Because I can see that this might be one way through and this might be another way through. Um, so there is a link tower right there, so let's go ahead and hit the link tower. All right. Because even the titanium, I don't have a, like, I need to be getting it still, because I'm going to end up needing it. But it's not, like, immediately blocking me from my next weapons. My next weapons I need to just get the availability of. Alright. Okay. I got cliffs the whole way along here. So it could be up here that I need to go. All right, well, let's just follow the uh, the west border.
Yeah, I'll figure it out. Describe the legend of the ancient folks who inhabited the island. The one-armed king taught us about mana. We learned to make many great things. But only the king knew sorcery without mana. Why would he not teach us this? I don't know. Considering what our scientists and engineers have built for mana, maybe the ancient folks were onto something. Okay. They have a mossy house. Okay, here's the other wall we saw that had a door, maybe. Okay, so I need five rubber and eight circuits. Okay. Let's try and drop this off. We need seven circuits and two rubber. Okay, so we have like two different apartment things here. All right. We are finally getting supply drops from the Motherland allies. Hang in tight. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Alright, see if there's a campfire nearby they can drop some stuff off. Actually, let's... <laughs> let's run back, drop off more rubber and more circuits see if we can't find a campfire to drop off more oh yeah but um yes you're right i can tell my stuff let me drop this off so i need two and five i'm um, so two teleport it yeah, i need to remember i can do that 
Thank you. Cause I only do it once per campfire or whatever. Okay, those don't give good supplies. It is not blocked for me. Nothing is blocked for me. <laughs> All right, so we got some more circuits. Um, that's not what I want. Go ahead and drop you. I would like. I was like, I'd like that. All right, so inventory's already almost full again. We got a couple more um, circuit boards. Uh, we got a little bit more rubber. We need one more rubber, two more circuit boards. And fortunately, I cannot teleport my stuff home again without stopping at a campfire. All right, so I got plenty of place circuit boards in here. Okay, so drop that. And... That should be all I need. Oh, why not take the quest? Did I not accept the quest? I may have clicked through too fast. Oh! Terminal next to the wall appears to be broken, lifeless. Okay. Broken or terminal? Okay, cool. I just went ignored the prompt entirely. <laughs> wasn't a deliberate thing, it was just... What those things? Okay. So we can drop off all our stuff here. Alright. Do we have anything in Vent I care about? Not really at the moment. Upgrade. We have a rabbit's foot? Sure.
All right, so if we're trying to go to the link tower, it's way up there. All right, that's fine. You keep doing whatever you're doing there. Oh, you have an office here? You find another table. They want to. They want my family recipe? Well, they won't get it. I've locked the recipe away in the locker room. Locker room. If you want to find it, you'll have to follow the trash. Check the Continental Driver back alley for trash. bad, but I think I found something. Look at the pile of trash next to the pond up north. There. I cleaned up all the trash. Quickly drop off all this stuff. Yeah, it definitely seems like you just keep breaking more and more. I'm honestly surprised how long the game is. Because when you're playing, it's like, oh, it's a game about like basically exploring the map and breaking stuff where you're trying to get away. And then you find there's like actually a decent amount of game here. Go the passage south of the old um, chalice to the ground between the trash piles. So drop this off. Bandage up. I guess now, so... What's interesting is that link tower's lit up. Oh, is that the one? Yeah, that's the one I have to repair. That's why that's lit up. Um, so we don't actually know where the next place it wants me to go is. So we're going to go for the uh, array. And see if we can't make that happen. Because so far the enemies here have been nothing noteworthy.
Well, I'm not here to try and execute everything yet, but it's happening. Um, all right, so let's cut to the diner, try and go west once we get out here. Yeah, my assumption is on our way to one of the energy cells in the west end of the map. Um, one of those will end up taking us wherever we get lumber. Okay. Uh, okay. Talking about timber? I want to talk about timber. Build sawmills to accelerate your lumber production. Build another sawmill. Well, I was expecting to be a little less direct than this. Of just, you know, immediately getting lumber. That's going to mark that so I can find my way back pretty easy. Okay. I see you, game. I was like, let me just skip ahead for a minute and, you know, get other stuff done while that's making lumber. It's like, nope, can't go this way. You need a whole heck of a lot of, lot of timber to go this way. Meanwhile, it's going to be destroying everything in the immediate surrounding while we wait a little bit. Because I don't want to reset and respawn all the enemies. We cleared like half of the zone. Level 27. Yeah, and I know I'm supposed to, like, go back, work on my base, build a second one of those. And I will. Right now, I want just enough of them to get across that bridge. To get that done. And then once that's done, I'll move on to actually building up the house and getting a whole bunch of timber made. See, this all could have been avoided, game. I could have left this building mostly intact. But no. 
you had to go and give me the timber thing and be like, all right, two seconds later, now you uh, you need the timber to do anything <laughs> that you want. So, I just need to kill time. How much does it require? If it's a lot, that's gonna be a problem. If they just wanna reach the array, do the thing where the enemies don't respawn, and then I don't care. Yeah, that's what I figured, is once I get a couple of units, I'll have stuff I'll be able to tear apart. I'm figuring for the timber, it'll probably be, like, destroying, you know, the, um, like, the really big trees or something might give me timber. Or, like, some type of structure I'll be able to destroy for timber. Okay, so I've leveled another entire building. And to think, all this violence could have been avoided. That's what I kind of figured, is the really big trees, the ones I can't cut yet, would give me timber. Alright, so I have a couple units of timber. How much timber do I need? Six, and I have three so far. Okay. We'll also explore the nearby area. So let's check northwest real fast while we wait. And I'm leaving the workbench there very deliberately. Uh, just in case while I run up there, I go in and grab more things. Oh, that was... Not great timing. It's fine. In the beta, the bridge wanted 10 or 15 timber. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had that happen in a while. That's an Ikoi beat song. We always skip and then remove from playlist anything Ikoi beats because I'm super tired of theirs. Jeez, those are still rough. Yeah, if they if they get you, their thing. The nice thing is at least their timing is fairly predictable. You know, I was just making it more and more want to make sure I actually get the um. get things done versus uh you know resetting or whatever to speed up time okay don't want to run up there and accidentally do that um, if you destroy it instead of search, do you still get what's inside? I would assume so, because otherwise you could, like, forever not be able to get stuff. But I haven't, like... The problem is if I destroy it, I can't tell what it would have given me otherwise. So I don't really have a way to confirm it. Okay, do not upgrade the axe. I really want to upgrade the axe, but do not upgrade the axe. I need that to make the bridge, to make the monster stay dead, and then the next set of timber becomes the axe.
All right. Let's run back. There's a good chance that last timber's done. And get this array on. Do all that stuff. And be good to go. I actually don't like that you have to do it this way. Take materials. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like where it's supposed, like it takes back the XP. Um. You want to talk about it? There we go. Cool. Now the rest is being built. That's fine. It's not run down into the murder holes. It's a good thing you can't break the bridge as you walk across, because that could get really bad really fast. And activated. Cool. They found the next Link Tower. Transmitters, deadly transmitter, yes, cool, scanner radar, yes, cool, walk away, cool. And now I should have blue stuff. I did install the deadly one, right? Hmm. Oh well. The mana beads will probably be back in their bodies the next time we get them. The point is, they stay dead. And if they have to come back for me to kill them again, that would suck. But, you know, at this point... I did the thing the way I would expect to do it. Okay. So. Now I'm going to go... Invent... Workshop furnishings? No, nah, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Um, material magnet. Collect material distance increased by 100%. So I definitely want that. But before we do that, let's upgrade our existing equipment. Go to our axe. I need more timber. All right, let's actually sleep. Awesome. Now let's make some tools. Upgrade. Axe. Do it. Oh, that one I just need steel to do another upgrade. Um, well, before I worry about the other things, let's upgrade the axe first. And then I'll circle back around the others.
Okay, so I stay dead now, that's fine. These ones stayed dead. That's so weird. So, a bunch of them are staying dead, but not all of them. Okay. Two more interacts gets an upgrade. And then I assume it'll be like, you need titanium. Okay, so I probably should do instead of worrying about that. I'm going to run up here, and I'm going to fast travel. Um, back to our main base, that way we can get more, um, more of the lumber mill things built. And just try and keep that all running. That was dumb of me. You saw nothing, chat. We can just go here, fast travel, down here to the carnival or whatever it is. Drop everything off here. And I should already have that titanium sitting right back up here. And then with that, I don't know what all we'll be able to destroy, but it'll be a lot. That'll be a matter of getting whatever our next um our next thing to clear. I know we're supposed to get a sledgehammer at some point. But we'll have to check when we get here, like, what the next leveling thing is. Alright, um, because we can invent craft. Yeah, it's going to have to be over here, like, level 31, we might unlock the sledgehammer. So I think we're going to get rid of this one on the far end. We can upgrade our axe one last time. So that does 80 damage. So before we mess with any of that, let's go ahead real fast. Um, 
Because I'm not going... Yeah, we're down to just the axe. So let's take the axe against a couple things and see what materials we get. We still can't take down the big, big trees. Yeah, so there's slightly not enough damage for those. Check the red one over here. Yeah, you need any game stuff? Yeah, not the old things I'll need in the morning. Alright, so the thing I want to do is before we get tied up into all that, um, let's go to our inventory. And grab our blueprint. So I need more rubber to be able to make sawmills. That's fine. Um, um. Okay, let's cook, see what we can make. Um, I could make a carrot cake, I believe. Right, the order matters. Forgot about that. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <sighs> Alright, Strider. You sleep well and all good stuff. Um, Alright, so we got eggs. Well, I actually don't have enough eggs for eggs and bacon. But we'll get there. Um, and those are all waiting on wheat. Well, I had intended on doing more sawmill stuff, but that's okay. We can come back to that. Um, so that build just lets me build more, so I'm not going to put that as a priority. Let's upgrade the tackle. That way when I finally do bother fishing, we're good there. I'm basically just going by what can I upgrade right now? Okay, that's what I'm upgrading. Alright, so the question is, what new stuff can I break with this that I couldn't break before? How is its total damage compared to the other stuff? So it's 80 slashing versus we were doing 54. Actually, I have the wrong things equipped. Um, so you can be the katana. You will be the wrench. You'll be nothing. So you're 30 slashing, but you're almost double against monsters. And you are 65. Okay. So we got 15 extra damage. What about you? Can I break you? Yeah, so I can break these ones down. This is not the right tool, I assume? Yep, not the right tool. It's still kind of annoying that that doesn't work in half these things. What about the walls? It's crowbar, right? Yep.
Hmm. Guess we fast travel to the next place and just keep up the pace, because... Don't know what else we'd have here. I mean, there's a lot of steel right here. Let's get this steel real fast. Oh, it just struck me before we go. I should put materials into the smelters to have them making steel. That way I don't have to grind this forever and ever. Hey Ninzaku, how's it going? Yeah, so let's quickly drop off the stuff in the smelter. Maybe lumber too? Yeah, the problem is I don't have enough materials to make the lumber sawmill thing. Um, I do agree, I do want lumber to go. I just can't build the sawmill till I get more materials. So we're gonna toss this over here real fast. Okay, so first... You're making titanium. You're making steel. And you're making iron. Yeah, because if I check correct, if I'm checking right, uh, let me go and break out the blueprint again. Yeah, so I need. Oh, yeah, so I only need rubber actually. All right, let's let's go hunt down some rubber. For some reason, I had in my mind it was some other material. Um, so we're probably not gonna find rubber here, but I should have. Yeah, the bridge up here. I should be able to find rubber up here somewhere. Because they haven't properly explored this area. If we get some rubber, we can make the sawmill and I can have at least wood processing while I'm not home. Okay. Can't break cards yet? Nah, I'm real close, though. Basically, once I get my next um, blunt weapon, I'll probably be able to just get right to that. Here's a question. Nope. Okay, it's not solid. Oh, there's a dig spot right here. Mm. Dream delay, yep. Yeah, so it looks like it's gonna make me like do the whole run around. Okay, we got a little cinematic going in here. That's curious. The Alpha Wolf.
Why would you do that? That's none of that's what I want. Thanks, Alpha Wolf. I was actually trying to go for the array, not come after you, but you know, we're here now, so that is what it is. So we got fish salad. Oh, um. Oh. I thought you were going to die from that. I'd survive with like two hits. I feel like I'm being forced to circle this thing without ever actually reaching it. Yay, they're going to punish all misbehavior. Do not sit at this the is fire. Recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay, so we're activating our relay. Transmitter, deadly transmitter, yep, cool. Scanner ray, yep, cool. All right, so now I can reset this thing, drop everything off. Those dig spots are so satisfying. Man, the game does so many things well. You have to start another run yourself. Yeah, I've been definitely enjoying the game. Alright, um, so we don't have what we need for the fish. We don't have what we need for that fish. Um, I do have enough for that. Yes, I do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Cool. All right, so we can't do any of that. Can't do any of that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Eggs and bacon. Cool. And I'm basically out of everything for the most part. Yep. Yeah, since I think only concrete walls are the only walls that can stand against me now. Um, alright. So I can upgrade the rabbit's foot. I'm not going to do that because I need the rubber for the sawmill.
Okay. Fast travel to here. Oh, can I break those things? Yeah, I probably can't, right? I didn't think so. I see your spool. Oh, that's not a spool, it's just a table. Never mind. I was like, I see your spool of rubber in there. I can just run over here. It's fine. No, I can't. Where where am I at that I'm doing this? Why did I go up here? Why did I think that was the right idea? It's fine. We're going. We're gonna just go down. Yeah, it's pretty easy to guess what tools I need for half the stuff. But I still want to test just because, like, there's going to be that one thing that I just won't think about that the axe will be able to break now. It'll be like, ah, that's why I need you. Oh, right. I still need to, uh, put the fuel cell in for the rocket get out of my inventory because it'll sit there forever otherwise. Uh, well, we'll go to the farm while we're here since I clearly went all the wrong ways. So, drop you off. I've noticed they give, like, the farming does give you XP. It's just super negligible. But I appreciate games make it so that, like, if you did want to just play the game forever, but not, like, there's just certain mechanics you don't enjoy, that you're not forced to engage in, like, those mechanics, necessarily. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll go to the wheat. Put our row of these down, because it seems to be I need this forever. Gonna end up requiring me to fish a bunch to do the recipes. Alright, so let's switch over from that to the onions, because I've been struggling to keep those up. And I had people asking me if the fish respawn, and I was like, 
uh, I didn't, like, I wasn't aware they ran out. So it might be I just need to go check a fishing spot, pull up a bunch of fish, and see if it goes away. Um, I have been putting a lot of our levels into the fishing because it speeds it up. So hopefully when it comes to fishing, it won't be sitting there forever. It'll just be like, click, wait, click, click, wait, click, click, wait, click. However long it takes to, like, knock it all out. Alright, and... I don't think I need to worry about potatoes right now. Yeah, so I think we're good on all the rest. I'm not going to worry about all of them for the moment. Uh, mostly just don't want to sit here for like half an hour replanting everything. Uh, we'll grab the fishing pole. Alright, so with what we have left over, what can I cook now? Um, eggs are needed. I should be able to do that. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And that needs eggs. Cool. Fish, fish. Thank you, Eugenio, for subscribing for seven months. Morning. Hey, Eugenio, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. You only get one of those, and out of all of Twitch, you used it here. And that really does mean a lot. I do hope you're enjoying the stream, as well as access to the emotes uh, and your advertisement-free viewing. So thank you again for the support. It does mean a real lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and seven months is a heckin' long time. So thank you again for the continued support. Alright, and we'll make this. So that one needs fish. Uh, can I make you happen? Yes. Um, so lettuce, one, two, three, four, five, six... Four onions, six carrots, and some seasoning. All right, and pretty much everything that's left depends on fish and or eggs that I don't have yet. That I don't have enough of, I should say. Because I've not been good about grabbing all that stuff. Um. All right, so I need to go east. There's a fishing spot along the way. Let's see if we do pull up some fish, if that, like, resolves the problem. Like, if I pull up, like, five, six, seven fish or whatever, and then it goes away, then we know I should just, when I find a fishing spot, I should just knock it out and be done with it. Wait, do you just do it yourself? Do I not even have to click? Oh, you just do it yourself. Oh, literally I can just... Okay, that's way less awful. Yeah, it's gotta be you only get so much fish out of this. Alright. Yeah, so now when I see a fishing spot, that's what we do, is just click on it, and it's done. So if you didn't catch, I don't have to click or anything, I just tell it, I want to fish here. Um, and then it does. Okay, so it should take us back here. Alright, and before we get into too much, let's pop over here real fast. Grab our blueprint. Oh. Grab all this first. Cool. 
I'm not gonna worry about making multiple of those. Not right now, at least. Because what I'll do is I'll just take whatever the one is that I need more of, so yeah. Cool. There's another fishing spot down there. Alright, so let's see. So I've got six of this fish. Which means I can make fish soup now. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh what do you get if you scrap it if you scrap in the lumber mill? Um, it looked that was an option. Uh I can check. I don't think I saw it, but I double check that. Um, so we only have six of the redfish, which is perfect because I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five for a fish salad. Um, and I don't think we have enough fish to do anything else, which is fine. Oh uh, yeah, let's see if I can look real fast. I might be able to. Oh, that'll turn the uh, the refined bits into what, like, just regular wood. Yeah, so it's basically trading up one tier is what you do each time. Now, the other thing I was just trying to remember to do, which is to go down here real fast. And actually put this fuel cell in so I'm not carrying it with me everywhere anymore. Also, if I need wood, I can just start decimating these forests. It may not even be a bad idea. Can I break this yet? Oh, no, I can't break it at all. Well, the few things you can't break. Let's run over here and shove in our fuel cell in this. Okay, and I want to run around the outside printers in our fishing spot. Oh, I don't need to run around this anymore. They okay, can't break through this wall yet, but we'll get there. And now I just like go for a minute, we get all the fish. And they're actually really good XP, which granted that's because I put all that time into the um the fishing one. Alright, well that's a fish we haven't even seen before, let alone had a recipe for. All right. We're gonna be good at gathering some mushrooms and all that. And trying to get eggs as well. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All 
All right, is there somewhere I need to go? So where would be my next destination? We've got that making timber. Um, I might be able to go west from... No, actually, that's almost all rock face there. Um, we got fishing spots up there. There's a terminal over here that I wasn't able to reach. Yeah, that was that was a dead end over there. Yeah, so it looks like that's all walled off. So I can't I can't get through there. Um, but here we might be able to. So let's get this link tower link tower fixed down here on the west that we've been putting off. Uh, so let's fix that, and then we can go ahead and try and get through there, because that'll probably get us up to this zone, which gives us another area to work through. Um, yeah. Do I do I still have? I do not have any more blue eye orbs. Without a blue eye orb. I'm kind of limited on some of the stuff I can do. Just getting some quick steel while we're standing here. Because I need blue eye orbs in order to get rid of the enemies. What I could do is actually hunt for a minute. There's no enemies left in this entire area. Let's go wipe out one or two areas, see if I can't get our blue eye orb. Um, so fast travel. Let's go up here and check if there's more enemies up here. Oh boy, there's enemies up here. Alright, well, let's start killing. I'm assuming this will be a big part of um how we get ourselves more of the stuff we're looking for. Oh, is this the broken bridge? Yeah. Hey, Luxray, how's it going? What's the way we get over there? Ah, right, it was way up there. Um, well, that's inconvenient, you know that? Well, I could run up to this fishing spot real fast and do that. You just stopped in to spam longy emotes um, as I lurk to help him. Gotcha. Okay, so let's run up here and do the fishing. I mostly just want to find more of the uh, the blue eye orb things so I can keep wiping areas out. That way as I travel, I don't have to sit there and grind the same enemies again and again because I find it just kind of annoying to do that. Got the achievement, Fish, you were here. I'll grab you. I also don't know if those salvage. Well, I mean, they the salvageables probably do respawn. And the reason I'm thinking that's probably the case is with the salvageables, you can just eat them to recover health. 
if it didn't respawn, you could technically like eat yourself out of being able to finish a bunch of things. So I'm, I'm guessing they respawn. Grab all of that. All right, so we got a whole bunch more fish. Can we cook anything with this? Um, so I've got five of that fish. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Baked potatoes. Cool. Um, I only got three of that fish, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything. The red fish, I need seven to do anything meaningful. Otherwise, I need more eggs. So we're getting a pretty good progress towards wiping out all the recipes I had. The big thing is I need to be on the watch out for eggs and actually picking those up. Been really bad about skipping them. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that the shovel. Alright, so got a bridge across over here that we can drop. Okay, so that gets us into this tile again, which is interesting. I guess I should just keep trying to work my way west for the time being. The next energy cells are. Getting stuck in those little bushes. Okay. There's just a lot of wilderness out in some of these places. Alright, pretty soon I need to find a campfire. Where's the campfire they left all of that on the ground? Oh, right, right, right. My, I will forever struggle to remember that I can teleport my materials once per rest.
Okay. Okay, so we did ultimately upgrade that. We got a fishing spot there and a fishing spot back here by the campground. Um, there is a locked door there I want to check out. Which is fine, because I'm sure we'll also run to enemies that'll need to kill anyways. That's okay, I got tons of carrots, I'm not gonna fight for it. The crown has crushed the raiding parties. Do not steal from your neighbor. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crown station. Okay. Yes, yeah, so there's no campfires we found too close to here. We've already been in there, it just didn't open that door. Okay, and let's kill these two down here. Oh good, and we have a campfire right down here. And what looks like a quest down there too. Alright, uh, so we cook. So I've got, let's see, do I have six? Yeah, so I can do that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, strawberry sponge cake. Cool. Um, and I don't have enough eggs, I don't have enough fish, I don't have enough fish, I don't have enough fish. I need the wayward storage key. And by that I mean, I do not need the wayward storage key. The large phone shipment should be loaded Tuesday for delivery to Fort Darrow. I was like, it's like, you need this key. It's like, do I though? Do I really need this key? Pretty sure I can make it work without the key. There's a note in the dossier. Hey guys, it seems I forgot the key in the pocket of my pants. My wife must have put them in the washing machine. So that means the shipment will be late. Sorry. Okay. Except. It's just like every once in a while, it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on like a little in game tantrum and just smash everything around me. No reason. 
not actually upset, just like, you know what? There's stuff here. I haven't destroyed it. Why haven't I destroyed it? I understand. Okay, so somewhere in town is a washing machine with stuff in it. So as such, I just need to swing wildly and destroy absolutely everything in the neighboring area. Alright, let's drop all this off. Check the next house, see if we can't... It's not that washing machine. I can see I could search that cupboard though. Okay, so we can drop this off. Alright, so there's that. Check this house up here. I have already destroyed the washing machine in this house, so solve problem. Do you have a washing machine I haven't annihilated? I don't see one. Okay, so I'll run this one down. Alright, so so far we keep checking our houses here. Not finding it. That's fine. I'm also trying to make it easy to tell which houses I checked by just ripping entirely through walls and everything. Because that leaves little question about whether or not I've searched it. There we go. I like that I'm getting the key to be able to get into the warehouse I already broke the walls down of. The game's like, oh, nope, gotta find your key, gotta get your XP. Alright, so we got this. I opened it from the inside anyways. Okay. So we didn't find any eggs or fish, so we're not gonna be able to cook anything new. Um, upgrade gear wise. Yeah, I mean.
Okay. I'm kind of also just exploring areas that we haven't revealed yet. Because one, I'll find monsters that are more than likely. Um, two, I might find new patterns or whatever. Where do you make those mana beads from crafting mana shards? Um, I would assume it actually go the other way. The mana beads are way easier to get from what I've seen. Mana shards. I can turn the mana beads into like crystalline mana or something like that. But I haven't seen anything that requires that yet, so I've not done it. I probably should be doing that soon though. Come on, I'm looking for eggs. Uh, it suddenly reminds me, wasn't there... Yes, let's go to the right here, hit that fishing spot. I meant me being able to craft mana shards into the bigger mana bead thing. Oh, oh! Uh, don't, no idea. I haven't had the option to do that yet. But I can see down the road that maybe we unlock it like we have some of the other things. Let's run up here to where we have this campground. Let's drop this off, go back and grab those. Kill the one enemy that's inside this place right here. And then we'll be able to fish real fast. Oh, I need to swap the shovel. All right. The fact that each of those is almost 500 XP is ridiculous. Well, I guess they're just over 500 XP mostly. It's just so much experience from just sitting there just pulling up fish. Alright. So drop them off and see if we can't make any new recipes. Alright, so we got three of those fish, not enough. Nine of these fish, which is enough. So we will do nine corn. Or five corn. And fish sticks. Um, yeah, that leaves me only with two types of fish and eggs as the only things I need before I've done all the recipes we've unlocked so far. Yes, I'm just not seeing where we go to get west. I got this one, but that terminal... Oh, right, it's down there. Um, Yeah, so if I'm up here, let's run straight south. We can tag that fishing spot on the way by. Then we can hit the link tower, use the link tower to go down. I can't link tower there. Um, is this in your top five games? No. Um, I'm enjoying this. Like, it's been a lot of fun. But, like, I only have, like, 16 hours in it or something like that. Like, I'm not unhappy playing the game. Is it in your top 10? Still, no. I've, I've only got, like, 16 hours in or something like that. I have games that I've played literally thousands of hours. What's your top 5, then? Oh, that's tricky. I mean, Path of Exile is definitely up there. I played that to, like, no end. Um, 
Product Zomboid would still include that, even though it's a little burnt out in that game. But it's got like lots and lots of playtime I've had in that. Um, what else did I put in there? Hmm. See, I've had this question a number of times before where people are like, how like what's your top favorite game or whatever? Um, I don't really have I don't think a game's like favorite games. Like it's almost depending on my mood at any given time. Like I might be more into one game than another. Like I've been playing a lot of big ambitions lately, but I wouldn't call it one of my top games. Um, Rimworld would definitely be up there, but that's another one like I don't play much Rimworld anymore because I kind of burnt down that too, but it's also one of the games I put ridiculous amounts of hours into. So it's kind of kind of difficult. Yeah, there's definitely like definitely games that you have the best memories that have had more impact. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't say it was to the point though that like I don't I don't have many games that go like ah oh, yeah that's. That was the game, like, I remember that one being, like, my long-term favorite. Like, I've had some really good times in Path of Exile. I have some really good times, like, EVE Online and World of Warcraft and Ultima Online if you want to go back far enough. Um, but what I call those in, like, the top ten? I would not put EVE Online in the top ten. Um, especially not how it's changed over the years. Like, the game that, you know, meant a lot to me and I had a great time with doesn't exist anymore. There's Eve Online exists, but you know, it's just, it's a different game now. <laughs> Alright. Same with like World of Warcraft, like I have great memories from World of Warcraft, but that's a game I genuinely have no interest in ever playing again. What's my most anticipated game of the year? Um, most anticipated. So I guess I should specify that, that I don't generally no Diablo Four. Actually, I'm very hesitant on, to be entirely honest. I'm mostly of expecting Blizzard to completely screw it up because that's what they've done with their last like X number of releases, um, and some of it in like horrific monetization strategies. I did not. I heard good things, so I'm not saying I absolutely will hate it or anything like that. I'm just kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop, where it's you know people start playing it and they'll go, "Oh, never mind." Since we played the demo and it got all the good PR, now there's this really horrific monetization in here that kind of really ruins it. Like, oh, here's this pay-to-win mechanic. I'm just waiting for it. And I know that's very cynical of me, but I just, you know. If you look at the stuff that Blizzard's come out with lately, you got Diablo Immortal. That was a horrific money grab. Um, you've got where they did the thing with Warcraft 3. That's pretty messed up. What game would you like to see an iteration of huge DLC? Um, so I know one thing that is coming out that I'm really excited for is they announced that the original Division had a... Um, the original Division had a survival mode that was, like, really good. Like, arguably, I would say it was the best thing about the original Division game, Division 1. Um, and they're making a game that is a spin-off that is just, just that survival mode, nothing else. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that, because it's going to be, like, a more fleshed-out thing. Now, obviously, I don't know if it's going to be any good or not yet, because it doesn't exist yet. But they did announce it, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to Hades 2, but I wouldn't say that's one of my most, like, most anticipated kind of game. Um, alright, so I still need more eggs, and I still need more fish. Um, let's see. I know I'm very much looking forward to... Uh, what is it? Frostpunk 2, I'm looking forward to a lot. I tend not to be the kind of person who thinks in, like, most and least when it comes to a game. Because, like I said, just the mood you're in at any different moment might determine, like, what game is my preferred, which one that... Do you think this game will end up in your top favorite? No. Like, it's a good game. 
But I don't see it a game that I'm going to drop thousands of hours in or anything like that. Why, what do you not like about it? Oh, well, it's not that I don't like anything about it, but we're talking like top five games or something like that. It just means another game did better. It doesn't mean there's actually something wrong with the game you're playing. Like, I could take a game like Stardew Valley, which is a game I absolutely adore, but if someone just makes a better slice-of-life game, it doesn't mean Stardew Valley has to have anything wrong for it to be the second runner. But like I said, I tend not to think of games as, like, best, least, that kind of... This is not how I approach almost anything in life. Because, like, when you're talking about stuff like best and all that, it's extremely subjective. What do you think of plays if you had to... I'm, I'm trying to tell you, uh, Soko. I just don't think of things like... I don't, I don't keep a list in my head of, like, here's the top 5, here's the top 10, here's the top 20. Because very much where what would be would change like within a couple of hours i would have an entirely different list for you you know there'd be some stuff that repeats but you know i might play a tycoon game for a couple of hours and be like you know what i'm i'm tycooned out for the minute and then suddenly all the tycoon games kind of drop off as like being my best game is there a random number will be happy all right let's say 13 and three quarters of a tenth <laughs> But only on Tuesdays if it's a full moon. Do I see myself playing this for more than 100 hours? Um, I, I could see this being 100-something hours, but that's kind of hard for me to guess just because I don't know how much there's in the game. Like, when, when you played a game for only like 16, 20 hours, you know, it's just kind of hard like I don't know what I don't know is there <laughs> but I do feel like I'm making good progress yeah it's a good game because like there's two DLC and I've heard that the DLC add a lot to the game and I've only like dipped my toe in the DLC I should reconsider it being one of my favorite I'll tell you this much. Of the zombie-themed games that are arcade that you can kill all the zombies and wipe them out on the map through in-game mechanics, where all of my loot goes in in a single click, it is my favorite game that has all those stats. It's also my favorite game named Dismantled. Or Dismantle. There's no tense to it. A thousand hours? Um, I don't think there's that much on it. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, that guy explodes, that's right. Faded. Like a thousand hours is a lot of hours. It's especially difficult as a streamer. Um, because I don't get a whole lot of time to play games that I'm not streaming. Um. Yeah, so it's just like one of those things, like, I don't, I don't see people in Um, do you feel like they should make a dismount too? Yeah, I see no reason not to. Like, I don't know what the story would be, but that's one of those things that, that's usually not a big deal. You can come up with a story. Would you get it? Dismantle too? Probably. I mean, having a really good time with Dismantle itself, so... If they came out with a decent sequel, I would absolutely give it a go. Alright, um, so I need to get up there. Yeah, so we got the bridge up here. So let's go north. Cross the bridge. I didn't check to see if I had enough titanium. And that's suddenly feeling like it's going to be a big issue. But we're here now. And I'm choosing to pretend it'll be fine. Because if I pretend it'll be fine, it'll certainly be fine.
do you think this will be able to complete compete for my um against zomboid for my enjoyment so right now in this very second that we're talking yes in overall like long term probably not like if, if we're trying to be fair about it because i've got thousands of hours in product zomboid that you know i've burned down the game quite a bit so like comparing to a game i've mostly burnt out on it's kind of a different thing yeah i've got almost four thousand i used to be a world record holding like i used to hold the world record for the highest kill count run ever streamed um at 135,121 zombies killed in one character one life with no mods to change itemization or vehicles Yeah, these days I'm pretty pretty burnt on the Zomboid. Which I know bums a bunch of people because most of the people are here, that's where they originally came from. Was popping in to check me playing Zomboid. Do you like Minecraft then? I asked because you spent so much time in Zomboid. Um I mean, I used to really enjoy Minecraft a lot. But that's another one that I burnt out on a long time ago. Like a long, long, long time ago. Um, so I haven't touched Minecraft in a meaningful level in years and years. Like I played for a couple of hours with some, um, some friends not too long ago. But it didn't last very long. But you love when I played Prison Architect and all that? Yeah. I see Minecraft as a recommendation when searching Zomboid. Interesting. I wonder why that would be. Because, like, I mean, you can build, build, like, you can, you know, build structures on Zomboid, absolutely. But I would, I would assume they're very different. Like, because I, when I think Minecraft, I think Legos, but on the computer. Like, that's, that's a Minecraft to me, is to me. It's Legos on the computer nowadays, as opposed to you know what used to be okay so i need six titanium ten iron let's try and get over here oh right you wanted me to go on this farm to begin with Hey, I hear this whole you have it locked and all that. Oh, right. I didn't go in here because there's that nightmare fuel of a thing in there, and I wanted to wait till I had stuff sorted before I dealt with that. Um, so that's the steel processing place. We have a campfire down there. Let's see if I actually just have the titanium and all that ready. Now that's one thing you change about the game. What's one thing about this game you'd like to change? Um That is a good question. Oh, how much did I need of this? It was six of you. Oh, it's gonna hurt her XP so bad. And it was how much steel? Was it ten? Was it really ten titanium? Either way, I'll take the XP hit. Oh man, that hurts so bad. I know I could go to the sawmill and like just process more. But the gathering stuff, I don't mind losing the XP that bad. Uh, cause for the gathering, all I have to do is just make it happen. Cool. And I mean, I guess we got the XP back right then and there. All right. So it's online. And I can fast travel again.
What's your favorite part of the game? I like how it it can be very cathartic in the game. The way you can actually kind of sit there and just like go into an area and completely clean sweep everything, like just fully wipe out what's on the ground. All right, so I'm assuming we kill this guy over here to the left. Um, and when they die, they'll drop with the big blue orb things, and then I can put that in there and just clear out the zone. Alright. So, friend, let's play a little game. Why would you walk in like that? Why would you do this? I wanted you- I wanted to be strategic in the fight. Why- why would you do that? Thank you, Rafal. Welcome to the stream. I blew myself up. I was hoping I'd be able to sneak off the grenade with just enough range so I don't die. It's fine. Have a good day, Roll? Yeah, I'm having a good day. Hope you are too as well. It's fine. I say, gonna keep watching you, but it's bedtime. So I'll listen to you until I fall asleep. Thanks for the awesome stream. No problem. Happy to have you. All right, so I've been avoiding hitting the campfires because I didn't want to reset stuff. I need to just accept that's gonna be what happens. Yup, because we died right there. Um, so bridge is up north from us, so let's head up that way. Now, the thing you need to stop doing is being stubborn about wanting to wipe the areas out and not have to deal with respawns. Oh, here. So that'd be it for the bridge to the... Oh, that's just for a fishing spot? We'll deal with that later. Um, I want to deal with that kind of stuff after I've got it where they stop respawning. Okay. Yeah, see if I tagged this campfire, I would have spawned back here and I had to run that. Mostly it's often a good day? Gotcha. Okay. Just gonna skip after you and go right on over here. That's the way I want to go. That's fine. Okay, so this time, I don't want you to walk directly in and get yourself murdered. What I'd like to do is my initial plan, which is to stand back, huck a grenade in there,
and just be absolutely cheesy and not give you a chance. I've reports of unmarked boats on southern shores. Please report any further sightings straight to the Crown. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Alright, so we got a locked door over here. Okay. I couldn't see where the explosion radius was. Well, the field, right? Maybe an answer to what happened can happen. Find here. Let's see. I followed the Northeast Creek for the sacred. Uh, plays past the barn and the metal tower um, disease that is now dead. I should look at that place. breaking stuff because that is kind of the idea behind the game. Okay, so now let's run back over here. Transmitters. Deadly transmitter, craft, done. And back. Leave. So now if I go to the campfires, got one right down there, I can drop everything off, and from now on when I kill stuff here, it'll stay dead. Okay, so we can upgrade our painkillers using fish, which was not what I was expecting, but you know. Not worry about that right now. I'd rather... Oh, do I have enough for cooking? Uh, we do. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is wrong? Oh, one too few. Smoked fish pasta. Cool. So yeah, literally it's just pancakes. I just need two more eggs. And that's every recipe I have, I'll have um, made. I'm sure there's a bunch I'm missing. I don't care. I'll tank it with my face. Alright, let's switch you out for the fishing pole again. Because I'm sure I'll end up needing fish in the future. And I'm just sitting right here, I might as well get it. Plus, it's good XP. Because again, like, pull up a fish, 600 something XP. Am I gaining more XP? Like, is it is it just increasing that every time I catch a fish, it's just like 40 XP more than it was the last time? Okay.
Yeah, we'll run down here, top off at our fire. Hi. Mm. Are you being a pretty girl? No. Why? No. That doesn't sound like you. Hi, Brendan. Um, no, I'm pretty pretty sure you're not. Google. I don't know. I think I think chat would fight about that. No, they know the truth. <laughs> I think you just misattribute, you know, pretty and ugly as, you know, the yeah. opposites of what they are. No, no, no. Okay. See, that sounds like almost exactly the opposites of what no. they are. Did you make that guy look like you? No, do, do you think he looks like me? Oh. Mm. I mean, got facial hair, I guess. Brown? <laughs> yeah. Look like blue eyes, possibly? Maybe. You don't actually get to design your character anyway, it's just the way they are. Mm. Oh, but it's nice. Nope. <laughs> I've never been attracted before. No. Are you getting ready for bed or something? You're acting like you're tired. Oh. Well, don't stay up too late. Mm-hmm. Love. And just saying, Chad, I'm gonna pause for a moment and use the restroom and all that real quick. Alright, so bear with me, chat. I need to use the restroom, so I'll be back here in just a minute. So thank you again for tuning in, and uh, thanks so much for everyone who's been uh, tuning in, lurking, following, subscribing to the bits, those donors, and the raids. It all helps, and I really do appreciate it. I do hope you've been enjoying the stream so far, and I'll be back in just a minute. Come on, me.
All right, sorry about that. And right. I mean, at this point, I don't have a recipe for the fish. Let's just use it. I see. I understand what's happening here. It's fine. The heck with it. We'll make the baseball cap. That's right. We made a baseball cap with titanium in it. All right. Don't care. Don't need to dodge. All right. So you can drop this off here. Okay, so we went around that way, so now I need to figure out where we're going to next. Um, So we already did the thing at the Sanctuary Farm. We got our steel over here. So that, that might work there. So it looks like the routes I can go is there is a path up here I can potentially go into this zone. And then there's a path up here I could potentially go into this zone. And we're aiming to get all the way up in that corner. So I think we're just going to try going west and see what happens. I'm sure we'll have to hit most, if not all, the zones by the time we're done. Oh, this is not where I need to be. That's fine. It's also very likely to get the things I need to make it so I can pull clear the zombies. From an area, I'm going to have to hit... Like, all the little... Well, that's what I need to make pancakes. I'm going to hit, like, all the little corners and all that. I imagine 100% think this game is probably... I shouldn't say tedious, but time-consuming. Mostly in the... There's going to be stuff that you're just going to have to, like, track down the individual recipes and all that. Right, let's make our pancakes. Get those off the list. So, one, two, three, four. All the eggs. And we have made every recipe that we have now. It's fine. Okay, that actually feels kind of bad. Then there you're just running up, you just hear the dog go, whine, as it falls into a gaping hole. How did I get over there? I got over there somehow. Oh, there's a gap up there, I see. Um, but I also can go down from here, it looks like, so we'll just go around this way. Okay, so I won't be able to get through till I can break cars.
Okay, we're gonna go right through the wall to deal with this. We should not lead snakes into our garden. Do not disclose the location of our beloved island to any outsider. This is an automated recording session K23, the Crown Station. Okay, so we can drop all the stuff off here real fast. Yeah, we should keep. No, I think we should keep going towards the um the energy cells the northwest and southwest, um. Because they're gonna have to have some point where they stop us, where it's like we need the next thing. Um, and my assumption would be at that point we would have whatever we need to find it. Okay, so we can go ahead and drop this off. Okay, so we had the smelter. Not gonna mess it up right now, cause I mean, the inner says some good progress from when I was here yesterday. One more day before that. How's it going? Going pretty good. Making some progress. We've got the um the timber. We've got the steel. We got the titanium. And right now, I'm just heading west towards the energy cells, cause I got two of them. And I figure whatever the next thing I need. But keep going west. Sooner or later I'll like run into where I need a new thing to proceed. And more than likely the game will give me either a hint or a quest or an objective or whatever to go get. Okay, that's... Alright, so we need a gas mask. Um, Alright, well that means that's not the place we're going right now. Looks like there's not a bridge south of here though. All right, where are you going, Vulture? Oh, this suddenly making me realize. Um, one second, Vulture. I uh, I need to do a thing real fast. Um, because I need to switch from hot to cold. So let's take that off. Cool. All right, Vulture. Extreme high temperatures. So previously, oh, I can break you now. Yeah, so previously, when I saw an animal like that, it led me to stuff. This one's just circling, though. Alright, so I'm going to need... I'm almost certainly going to need the, um the chess piece for each of these uh, that we have been putting off. So, so safari wear, we'll tag that. We'll tag the winter wear for when we get there. Um, honestly, we'll make the hard hat now. Well, the first thing he can be done at any point, by the way, in case you're worried about messing them up. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I messed the first DLC previously um, when I last played this. And it didn't mess up anything so much as it kind of gave me, it kind of jumped my progress far and I believe I was intended to have my progress at the time. Because I was finding materials I hadn't been able to find yet otherwise. 
Okay. Like, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't a huge jump. But I was able to get a hold of, like, steel before I was supposed to have steel and stuff like that. That's not a big deal. Yeah, so it needs hide to get done. Okay, is there much we care about here? There's a lot of enemies in this place. This is a friendly reminder. Know this. Borealis awaits everyone who crosses the crown. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crown station. Like, don't mess with the crown or else. Can't wait to play the second DLC. Yeah. We uh we messed with it a little bit earlier on stream, but it was all those things that's like, okay, I feel like I'm gonna be getting some easy progress here. Let me let me drop back to us was doing, like actually do the game to the normal progress first. Part myself all the way through here. Alright, and I'm just going to hit this one, not the bonfire, to reset them. What quest do you have for me over here? Our unit was supposed to provide escort for the convoy with an important cargo passing through Primaville. The problem is the convoy is already half a day late. We just got confirmation that they have not reached checkpoint C either. We are not equipped to venture into the desert to look for them. It seems like we just have to wait. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea, very honestly. But, like, when is the best time to do all that kind of stuff? So we're not overheating yet, which is encouraging. Okay, we got some nice quality of life stuff in the first DLC. Um, I don't think the idea would be too late. I have no idea what to expect from the second one, though. Yeah. It's not a vulture. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh. Building I can't actually break through, that's fine. Okay, so we can drop this off real fast. Break more cactus for the chest piece. Because I have a feeling what's going to happen is once we start running south that we're going to need more heat protection than we have. I think it required like 20 of these, so it's going to take me just a minute to find them all. So there's a big explosion here. Can I reach that from this side? I switch this to my fishing pole. I can. Cool. Dig spawn the explosion, I think, too, if I saw the minimap right. Maybe. Makes sense. You can check that real fast. There is. Let's see how we're doing, because that's some decent amount of cactus we pulled up there. Alright, so... Collection, cactus, 20. Alright, well before we do that, where is the array? Let's see if I can run straight for the array and make that happen. Oh, wait, I don't have the giant blue thing. Ah, I'm gonna just accept that they respawn. Ah. So it's not upgrade yet. Let's create new gear. What are you missing? Fabric. Fabric shouldn't be too hard to make happen. I just need to start shredding beds.
Come on, buddy. On me, I guess. Vulture knows an arrow made of stone does not fly as not fly far. New invention bandolier. Living room furniture. Going ahead and trashing everything to just get all supplies I can out of the place. We need the fabric for making things so I can handle the heat way better. I figure why not just cut through the whole place get what you can out of it okay so with that we can pop over here drop that off run back in So we'll be good on a lot of our materials with that. Okay, so that should give me enough to make the outfit. Which should be all I need to keep us cool. Um, Alright, so that increases our build limit. Max hit points. And craft our gear. Safari outfit, let's do it. The motorcycle helmet. Increase that damage. We have our workshop stuff and all that kind of stuff. I'm not too worried about that. Um still need to get the uncommon compressor done. Actually, what was that way over there? Bandolier. Um, a slung sash for holding additional throwable. Okay. And materials for it, but also upgrade. What do I need to upgrade the safari outfit, or is there no upgrade? It looks like there is no upgrade. Um, This is fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so let's just try and work our way west over here to this. 
Um, and see what we run into that gets, you know, prevents us from just going for it. Okay, we'll just keep going. Ow. Alright, so it looks like we got a perimeter wall here. And no way to get in from this side. So we're going to have to go around. What's it trying to mark me down here? What were you? Oh, that was probably the, the caravan thing. It seems like the convoy originated from Mandrake's Diamond Mine. Where is that? Are there any road signs nearby? I mean, there was a map. Alright, Mandrake's Diamond Mine Driftwood. Either way, I'm going to worry about that next. Right now what I want to do... Start trying to move towards the relay location. There's the Lost Convoy. We got a new enemy that lunges half across the screen, so that's lovely. Okay. Only some clutter and broken boxes in here. Ew, was that a leg? Well, I thought I was going to get away with it, but that's fine. The van is completely empty. I can't find anything of value from the vehicles. Perhaps there's something I missed? It seems like one of the vehicles escaped the massacre... Um, it must have been the one carrying the important cargo. I guess it went onto this road. There we go. Okay, it was a tree full of plates. I don't know why. Where did those tire tracks go? So I see them over here. Looks like they went down this way somewhere. There they go over to the right. Is 
That does seem quite important. The vehicle's, final vehicle seems to have crashed hard, but you still managed to salvage some important cargo. Is that important? I don't think that's that important. Oh, we got a mana shard. Yeah, that's fair. So let's run up here real fast. I want to check the perimeter over here. See if we can't find another way in. Oh, cool. All right. So I've lit the bonfire. I don't really need to heal that bad right now. Steel. Okay, and cool. And this is the relay, which thankfully I don't have to go through a huge hassle on in this one. It's just run up to and use it. The downside is I don't have any of the things that I need to craft to make it so it keeps the enemies dead. Cool. Yeah, I don't have any. I'd like to save the grenade for the leaping one. Okay, so we got the leaping one here. Wait, well, turns his back when I hit him with a grenade. All right. A sturdy locomotive stands next to you. Upon closer inspection, it seems to be missing some important mechanical parts and thus inoperable. An attached note mentions a lost shipment of parts and a place named Solaris. Perhaps is where I should look. Find the repair parts of the desert train. Repair the locomotive at Mandrake's mine. And I assume I can't keep going west until I do that because it's physically blocking the path. Okay, does this go over any farther that we care about? What? Okay. It's not marked as a diggable spot. Sure. It's just a weird door frame.
All right. Um, so they want me to fix the train. There's definitely a little city down there. We don't have any marks for where to go. Gotcha. We've got a stretch redeem here in a moment. Um, let me go ahead and I can get that out of the way. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're not we're not finding what we're looking for here. The doorway is an Easter egg thing for crazy people. Just just a thing for people to like see the doorway and then just be like, what is this? And then just torment them, but the door doesn't actually mean anything. I've seen a lot of games do that with that, like the red herring thing that everyone starts investigating trying to figure out what it is, and it's just literally nothing. I'm glad I got him right then. Because then we would wait an extra second on that. He would have gotten that attack off. We would have taken a lot of damage. There's an inter interaction to do with the door, but requires an unreasonable things. And with no real payoff. Ah, excellent. It's just a good and you actually did it. Gotcha. The storage is a mess. How are we supposed to find anything here? Clark better clean up this mess. I cleaned it up. Don't worry about it. It's all gone now. Let's just switch that to our bandage for just a moment. Don't worry about it. No reason why. Uh, we definitely didn't just grenade ourselves. It does count, uh, to confirm some lore stuff, though. A little cool, at least. Gotcha. than ever. There is no room for snakes here. This is an automated recording session K-23, the Crown State. Yeah, there's no way to get out here, really. So I don't believe it gave us a hint as to where to find the parts, did it? Let's see. Solaris. We have found Solaris, so I'm assuming that's Solaris down there where we can see on the map that there's another city. Let's go ahead and plunk this down in storage and run down towards the city down here. We 
more likely somewhere here, either probably in Solaris itself, than our, like, boss enemy kind of thing. This is not Solaris, this is the Grand Mansion. I'm starting to get desperate. The situation outside has gone from bad to worse in a matter of weeks. Every day, I need to fend off not only ex-humans, but also people seeking shelter. Meanwhile, my employees are concerned about hiding their wealth in the ground. I managed to photograph one of them kneeling next to a rock in the garden. I marked the spot, so it should be easy to investigate later on. Okay. There's a, a rock that makes kind of a wedge that's right next to that. What does it mean when you lay a campfire? Um, it's basically a respawn point. And if I rest at it, I get all my stats and all that back. Um... But it does respawn all the enemies in the area, unless there's um there's a thing I can do to prevent respawns, but I have to do it. Otherwise, they, just, they reappear. So it's like Dark Souls in that regard. Okay, this is the spot. I like how you are just not paying attention. Actually, this is not the spot. The spot was desert. Yeah, they're very zombie-esque. I figured I didn't want to take the chance of getting shotgunned by him trying to get up to him while he's got all that. Oh, we got a dig spot up here. Okay. Yeah, they think they call them X, um... Ex-humans is what they refer to them as. Aw, oh, come on.
Oh, that's not what I want. Hang on. Okay. Band yourselves up. So I don't think it'll be up there. It could be outside the fence is the other thing, because I wasn't seeing a dig spot there. I could definitely see it being like around the perimeter kind of thing. to Ginger Rogers who when asked about dancing and Fred Astaire asked um, how it was she said she did everything he did except moving backwards I see that makes sense I thought I'd be able to just run past real fast and he'd miss. Instead, we took it to the face. And that means everything just respawned in the area. Hey, hey, hey. Literally, let me at least get my stuff, alright? Well, we'll just do over that whole thing, because that was a whole mess. Um, alright. So unfortunately, that does mean all the stuff is trying to avoid having respawn, respawned. Which feels bad, man. Let's see, invent new stuff. Just gonna get making these things because they keep putting them off, and there's really not a reason to. I still need that, which is timber, which is literally just go back to the main base. Um. I'm guessing it's not in the perimeter. Maybe it's just out here somewhere? What exactly happened here? That is a good question.
Actually, you still have the quest of this area. You cheese your way to the ending by noticing the dig spot, the basketball court. Oh! I just happened to notice. Um, find the spot indicated here. Oh, it is in greenery. Along the fence. I mean, we've already got the payoff. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'd rather deal with this place when the respawns are gone. So I thought that was going to be that. So that's probably Solaris over here. Okay, then trying to move the train. Yeah, no, I realize we get XP. My thought is I'll um I'll wait till we get the relay sorted, and then I'll do it. That way, when I get it going, I can just kill the enemies and they stay dead. Whereas otherwise, I just keep progressing things. Because otherwise, I just go into that place and kill everything again and again and again. I'll just get tedious. Oh yeah, no, I'll definitely want to do it at some point. Um, hi. Alright, notice so don't just try and stand there and fight. Cause like the last time we were able to backpedal and just deal with them pretty easy. Whereas that was not smooth at all. Look at that one hit um on the back tack for those guys. I have a feeling we're supposed to have something that's supposed to tell me to come down here later. But we don't have it yet, and I'm just running this area earlier than I need to. That's not what I wanted, but I'm going to take it. Let's keep underestimating how fast things can close the distance between you. So where are we? Oh, we're on our way to the next zone. Um, It's not really what I wanted, but I guess we're on our way there now. Yeah, I wanted to check this place out, so it looks like you just need to go around that rock the other way. That's okay. Oh, yeah. It'll be nice when you get one-hit kills on them.
Eric goes in the front of us for archaeological expedition. Just regular wood. I figure I hadn't seen that before. This looks important. I should look around. Cool. And it's like, I should look around. Zoom in, focus to audio log. Testing, testing. This is Judy and Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. We're starting out our investigation at the canyon. The main artifact is large, pyramid-shaped, and appears to have some sort of an entrance at the top. We'll start the closer examination tomorrow after a good night's sleep. Very exciting. And I have slightly too little damage to go through that way. All right, let's quickly run back, drop off the first load of stuff. Because wasn't wasn't the yeah the spots right down here? Oh, get out of my way! Okay. Pinnacle and the Abyss. These stone tablets seem to tell some ancient legend, but it's as if the markings have been somehow scratched off. Our electronics equipment keeps malfunctioning near this site. Oh, and there's an eerie glow around the stone ring at night. No apparent source for the light, yet it glows. We'll need to come back to this later. I'm sure there's a way to restore these and read the legends. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. The image has been worn off. Okay. So yeah, so as we reveal the things... Yep. I see. So these are ones we've already seen before. Yeah, basically as we explore the world, we find these. So I've got several of them that I have seen already. Oh. So there's these areas of special effects that you move slowly in, like where time is messed with. Um, there's one of those there, but it's not marked like the other ones. Notes on the pyramid. Last night, I swear I heard a cry for help inside the pyramid. Very creepy. The team got so anxious that we decided to play it safe and fill the structure with cyanide gas before attempting entry. The voices seem to have stopped now, so it was probably just some wildlife. Supplemental. We've waited for two days, but the gas is not evaporating for some reason. It's weird, but it's not the weirdest thing we've encountered on the island. We'll need to get the gas masks from our jungle camp if we're to enter. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. Four of the kings. Tomb of the Hungry King. Oh, these must be the various, um, there's these all over the map. Yeah, so there's still gas in there. It was a gas this place to try and kill whatever was inside. Yeah, the thing that was crying for help. 
And they were like, here's the thing that sounded like it's crying for help. So we murdered it. It stopped crying for help. Alright, so there is a heckin' bunch of tombs to find. I also wonder why she just had, like, just on hand cyanide gas. Like, why, why would you just on hand have, like, you know, such an incredibly lethal gas? Well, the gas masks are gone. Thank you, SheWolf0777, for gifting a sub to Indifferent Noob19. They also reported some strange hey, phenomenon well, deeper actually, in moment. the jungle. Intriguing. We better head that way. We'll just take one detour to see the new artifact discovered at the Site B. This is Judith Abigail Susan James, the Crown Archaeological Expedition. Okay, so thank you, SheWolf, for gifting that Tier 1 sub to Indifferent Noob19. In your new night tune, you now have yourself some nice advertising free viewing as well as access to the emotes, whether you wanted them or not. So thank you again, uh, she will for the continued support the channel. It does mean a lot. It's, oh, if you ever want to know what's up with that doorway you found, by the way, uh, you can look up trans-dimensional key stuff. Absolutely not worth doing, but interesting to see. All right, we can just make that recipe right now. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to light the fire. Because otherwise I'm going to have to sit there and like re-kill these things again and again in this area. And I just don't want to. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Archaeological Site B, Dr. James. Um, yep. Makes sense. The architecture and items found at the Site B definitely match the ones found at the canyon. One of the artifacts found is a pouch full of small glowing beads. These are exactly like the one my mother has in her necklace. So, I guess she was right. A team of selected people will follow me deeper into the overgrown jungle. Not sure if we should be worried, but we've lost all contact with the Beachhead Station. Abby, signing out. There's a big spot below us that I should go to. I should get follow someone gives a sub. It's just a principal thing. Gotcha. Yeah, I know you're trying to have a chill community, like and we uh we do play a variety of games. Um, I would say play a bunch of games like Dismantle, but I can't actually answer that because there's not many games like Dismantle, so, you know, uh, kind of makes it hard to say we play stuff like that. But we play a variety of stuff. Tycoons, action RPG, roguelikes, roguelites, uh, survival. Um, city builder settlement builders, the whole jam. I actually play a fairly wide variety of games more so than a lot of other channels. kind of figure if the style of games I like have those kind of overlaps. Oh, and Slice of Life as well. Has like overlaps. Probably a lot of people who have similar overlaps as well. I 
All right. There's a dig spot down here. Bad puppy. Does it really scratch the nit? Um, it's been playing it together. I didn't think this had co-op or multiplayer. Or do you mean like playing it together like independently playing at the same time? Well, that's going to be annoying. I was too busy worried about this thing. I didn't even see I was just walking around getting spiked. What are you? Oh, you're just a rock. Oh yeah, I am future. Yep, looking forward to that one. Actually, now you say it, I am future does like it's not as large scale that we're aware of, but it does have kind of a similar thing of where you just smash stuff to get the thing to smash more stuff to get the thing to smash more stuff to get the thing. But it's remote play together co-op actually works surprisingly well although it lets you cheat some of the puzzles yeah i can imagine that well, that's interesting i didn't realize it had co-op yeah it's local co-op is what i'm assuming all right so we need to go through here Hunting rifle, you say? Oh, I'm assuming that'll be a usable item, like our, our knives and all that, won't it? Because there's just, like, a regular, like, ranged weapon or whatever. See, are you gonna play um are you gonna play that Haven Dot game when it comes out in a few days? Not 100 sure what his name. Um Haven Doc. Uh maybe. We had we had fun with that. I didn't know it was coming out in a couple of days. Um I do know it's gonna be a little bit of a trick because for those who haven't been uh watching the schedule, I mentioned it a couple of times, but it wouldn't surprise if people didn't hear about it. Um I actually have two days I'm taking off this week. Uh fun stuff with Tomb and all that. But um so tomorrow is a charity stream that we're doing for Games for Love. Um, and then the next two days after that, I'm off. Then Thursday, which is my normal day off. And I'll be back Friday, and then we'll be back to the normal schedule. So a little, little small vacation going on there. All right, so let's do this. Send all that stuff back home. I thought I was gonna one-shot him. Uh, the Earth is like destroy. Um, get a little. We have a uh, Steam, you can get a really cool trailer. Dope. Yeah. So it's, um, I Am Future is a post apocalyptic game. It does have a lot of the mechanic like this, where it's, you know, you tear stuff apart, you find materials, you use those materials to make the thing that you can tear apart the next thing so you can find materials so you can, you get the idea. 
Um, there's a certain bit of puzzle element to it. Um, it's a very chill game. Um, the character has a surprisingly um, positive outlook on the fact, considering it's like this overgrown urban environment. But yeah, no, it is, um, it's similar to Dismantle. Now, it's not quite as extreme as Dismantle, where you can take apart everything. You can take apart quite a bit. I'm so amazed I'm not dead. I'm getting caught in these little trees that I can't see very well. As demonstrated. Okay. Well, that was horrifically unsmooth. Yeah, these little bamboo trees. They're kind of hard to tell where I can and cannot move. All right. Let's see now. I had to hope the co-op so I can play that too. Yeah, I have no idea if it's gonna have multiplayer or not. Oh, I see. Too slow. Okay, so we hit this. Yeah, sorry, I messed that up. Alright. Just let the time expire. So I think the thing I make a mistake is I'm trying to hit those on the way in. I need to go up. Hit you. Run through. Push the button. Oh, I guess it stay stuck. Let's reset the whole thing. Cuz I think you got the thing messed up. So we hit that, we run over here, we hit that. We don't hit it yet. We push the button, we hit that. We run over here. We hit the button, we hit that. We run over here, push the button, we hit that. Is it not done? Oh, it's, it's okay. I understand now. I was like, wait a second, is this thing not done? Hang on. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I'm with She Wolf. When we played the I Am Future demo, and it like, it was just starting to pick up, and then it was just like, they dropped like the end of the demo. I was like, but, but, but I want more. Why can't I play more now? Why do I have to wait? I, I can say there's only been like one or two demos that we've played on the channel that's like, no, really, I want this game. 
like right now. I don't want to, like, I don't want to wait for it to come out. Versus a lot of the other ones, it's like, okay, this game's gonna be a jam when it comes out, but like, you're not, you're not like itching for it to be that very second or anything. We have arrived at the Temple Pass. The architecture is very intriguing. It looks like there's even some rudimentary technology inside. However, there's no clear way to pass through, but we're adamant we'll find a solution soon enough. Supplemental. We noticed that there has been some trouble with our timekeeping. It's almost like the flow of time is being affected by some anomaly. Maybe it's just exhaustion on our part. This is Abby. Yep, JD. It is the, uh, yep, I Am Future is the one with the, um, he has a robotic arm. Because that's the way they do the tools in that game, is you have, like, a robotic arm, and... It looks like nature has done its damage. I hope the mechanism still works. Um, but, like, you, you upgrade the tools in your robotic arm. Alright. Oh, so it's not that one. Hmm. Okay, so I need to get the block out of its little room up there. Okay, so I need to get the block out of that room. Okay. All right. Is there anything else I can get at from here? Oh, I've got one that's just over here. No problem. Like I said, I will say Dismantle lets you dismantle way more. Now let's start with these two. There's a lever over there that I don't know what it does. I did. The passage is now clear. Right. I want to know if something happens if I put all three in. I guess nothing. Okay. Yeah, that said, you do get the same, like, catharsis that, you know... You're running along. Can I break those? I didn't think so. You get the same catharsis of like, you're going around, the roof is absolutely color covered with junk. Ow. Absolutely covered with junk when you start. Um, and you get like one tool that lets you take apart a couple of like some of the things and you have to get your next tool to take apart our things. So you get like that slow, you can take more and more apart until like the area is actually clear. 
The robot guy is cute too. I just like how he has such like a positive attitude. It's like the end of the world is like, this is a gorgeous view. I need to stop running up and hugging things with my face. I can't remember what was the thing that caused the end of the world in that game. I just remember that it floods the whole world. Oh my goodness. Please die. The beachhead outpost looks like it has been hastily abandoned. Where could they have gone? Most of the items have been left at their places. No sign of the gas masks, though. Supplemental. I found William's journal. This is deeply disturbing. Why would they do this? We should follow them. Going north and following the river should take us past the temple ground and to their new camp. Abby, out. Okay, so we have fast travel turned on. Now the question is, do I do the thing that lets me permanently kill the enemies in this area, or do I do in this area? Because I don't have enough to do both. I'm going to just shove it in here. This is the tower I'm looking at, it's going in. That's my approach to literally all of them. Okay. A bunch oh there's a campfire over here. It's like I'd put a campfire over here somewhere. Okay, and finally actually sit down to a campfire. It's been a long time. Alright. So we can invent gear, the hunting rifle, the so needs steel and lumber, is piercing, yeah, so it's a three, I get three shots between campfires. On um, that said, let's make the winter coat, because I'm sure I'll want it for when we get to the winter area. Upgrade gear. Uh, let's not use the mana shard net. Do this. Go here. Fishing. Let's see. Or maybe it was 18 tombs. I'm doubting myself a bit. Yeah.
Yep, no, I just need to track him down. Yep, I do have a new recipe. Okay. So cook. Um, I needed nine of those and five corn. We got that. One, two, three, four, five. And nine of these. off in the box before we go anywhere. All right. Yeah, so they ran off to the north, which looks like that's the way to get there over there. The good news now is every time I kill something, it stays dead forever. I'm not going to go out of my way to go backtrack everything. fine but um we will take the time to kill what we can okay I just want you away from the trees. Okay. Just so I didn't actually get caught in the trees up here doing this. Yeah, so you got one of those temporal spots over there that we still haven't got a way to interact with those yet. Interesting spot up there. Okay. I'll take care of that. Let's do a thing where we teleport stuff back home for a moment.
It still bothers me. I have like these ancient things. You like get carrots out of them. You're like, uh, come again. <laughs> you think that's edible? I'm glad I have a ridiculous amount of health now. They're very well preserved. Something like that. Says, um, I guess you could also dismantle basically everything in your belly. <laughs> I mean, anything you can eat. Alright, so our inventory is getting full again. Oh, do this pet temple grounds. Do the teleport thing over here. There's a lot more over there. Oh, okay, so this loops back. We saw it from the other side. This loops back to Yes, loops back down here. Uh, not there. All right. Hey, you can see where we can cross back, hit our campfire, and come back up here and pick up all this junk we're leaving behind. Just so I can see the path easier. Okay. So we can tag this. I'll embarrass everything for a moment. I need to use the restroom, so I'm going to be back here in just a minute. So thank you again for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to Bits, Hustle, Donuts, and the Raids. It'll help so I really do appreciate it, and I'll be back in just a moment.
All right, let's get back to it. Um, okay, so we can just run back down this way. Not this way, up here. Let's grab all those mana beads. Because even though like nothing's supposed to disappear in the world and I haven't ever evidenced, I'm just paranoid. I want to make absolutely sure none of these disappear. Okay, we're not seeing corpses with loot nearby them. Yeah, we had almost an entire extra inventory in just that. It's also funny because we were using the um the leaves to set up our farm, and it was like really expensive to do that. It was like twelve per tile or whatever, so you burn through a lot very quickly. Um, but since we maxed out the farm, we haven't really needed to grow it much. This has not been a problem. Okay, so we'll drop all that off. And then keep going. I think I know how to use these now. I should prepare um, fighting for my life, though. That's why I figured when they had the cross swords. It was like, okay. Um, so. Oh, whoa, whoa. I use a blue eye orb? Do I have a blue eye orb? Oh, I'm gaining a blue eye orb. Um, oh, sorry. It's been a while since I've done that one. Okay, so I assume I'm getting a blue eye orb. I Oh, I need one. Curious. Sorry, Bambi. It had to happen. Campsite looks empty and neglected. No gas masks. Really frustrating. It looks like the station crew will make camp and then continue through the Rocky Mountain path. We'll follow them. I should also mention, I felt some unusual mental discomfort during our trek through the wilderness. Am I starting to go crazy? Abby. Okay, we are just dealing with all this. So imagine that side path we um saw but we ran back from Probably has no other temples or whatever. Gotta assume we find more than one nearby where, like, we have this whole ruins. Alright, so we got deep crevices with... Okay. Yeah, so that'll break underneath me. No, 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 okay.
Yeah, we'd be able to teleport from there to there, but... We haven't figured out how to do that quite yet. Well, it's fine. It does make me curious what those, um, the gauntlet things are, where it's like you better be ready to fight for your life. I'm assuming we give it, like, the big orb thing. I'm guessing we get the big orb back. New plan. Disregard safety. Run fast, a good friend. Gotta hate those bits. Hey, Yoshi Suki. How's it going? Yeah, the pits are quite literally the pits. They good? I had a good time. This is our... I mean, technically it's the third stream we played this? Third? Fourth? Um, but, like, this is the second stream for this playthrough. Because it came out the new DLC on the 19th, so... We're checking out and by that I mean I haven't done anything with the new DLC at all to speak of and just getting distracted with all this I kind of expect that to be a dig spot it's fine Oh goodness. Oh hey friend. Could you not? Alright, that should buy me a little bit of time to bandage up. They're the one in the back ready to rock and roll, him. Ah, you hurt so much. That's one of the reasons I like to go out of my way to disable the respawn, like, get the stuff I need to disable respawns in a region. Just when you get those places where it's, like, basically an ambush, you can defuse the ambush and never have to deal with it again. <laughs> or other just annoying enemies you don't want to deal with. Gotcha. Yeah, and a product example is an excellent game. Alright, so we got our campfire over here. And pools of exposed lava. Certainly nothing to worry about. Okay, so we can upgrade equipment.
I'm not gonna use my mana shard in any of those things. Because I'm willing to bet whenever I get my last... Like, bladed weapon and all that. That's interesting. Alright, well this is... So I found a tomb guard. I still don't know what it does because I saw him and went, yep, we're using a grenade. And immediately exploded him. It's like, I don't know what you are, and therefore my immediate response is going to be hit you with a frag grenade. It's probably the first place that camera's been actually pretty rough. Just with all the different level terrain and all that blocking. I didn't have to worry about the camera at all, and this has been like the first place that's been kind of annoying. Alright, so again, alright, I'm assuming it's going to be a tomb guardian in there. Yep, it is. I saw the pad and I'm like, okay, is the bridge going to collapse? What's going to happen here? So it closed the place behind us. Okay. Just snuck up behind him and absolutely just dropped the hammer. Hey, buddy. Goodbye. I may never get to see what they actually do for an attack because I'm just immediately one tapping them from behind. Okay. The downside is we have to wander this whole way back out of this place when we're done. Is there anything new I want to make? I still want to make this, but I gotta go back to main base to do that. Same with the rifle. Honestly, same with like everything. Hi. I don't want that. I was all crafty, snuck up behind all of your friends, and murdered them mercilessly. Hey, Pathing AI, have you met my little friend? friend get wrecked Ooh All right, 
right, so let's go ahead and do this over here real fast. Since I used a bunch of my grenades. All right, so it wants me to go down there. So it could be a no. There's a rock formation there. Um, I guess the path's down that way. No, it's hard to tell what path takes me over there. I, I'm thinking we go down along this bottom area here somehow, because the alternative is to go up. No, because the right won't work. Let's. Let's go back out of the temple. Our pass to the bathroom. Oh, did I just not see it? Yeah, I was like, but it'd be weird for this to be here. I'm just more curious how that deer got in there. So I think I've had a little bit of AX Box um, single player run. Sorry, Muldrow, been pretty rough, but finally managed to clear a bit of breathing room. Uh, fence towels to the side. Um, discovered an emergency broadcast channel and work in the car. It's just clearing up the neighborhood for the chopper event. Yeah. Yep, no, I appreciate it. I'm alone and badly wounded. Is I'm there... hoping Crown received my message and help is on the way. I fear all my colleagues are dead. We shouldn't have come here. Supplemental. Still alone and waiting. If anyone finds this recording, please listen carefully. Okay. I understand it all now. We set it free. It's what we did at the pyramid. Will it happen to me too when I die? The cost of the expedition was high, but it ended in a great discovery. Uh, a great discovery of unleashing, you know, zombies. Don't be timber. Oh, I hate that you're timber because how the heck am I supposed to get timber here in a timely manner? Oh yeah, no, it's a rough time. So we can make the gas mask, which I need to progress to different areas anyways. Okay, so. We do have an area we can reach over here if I bring a whole lot of timber. Meanwhile, we've got this thing over here that says like, yo, if you're going to do this, be ready to fight for your life. I'm going to do it. I should return with an... Oh, I have to take it on my inventory. I... For everything that's super nice about this, that is the one and only thing is the taking stuff out of here. It is the one and only thing I don't like. What are you gonna do? Um.
Victory. Claim your reward. Okay, this reward better be amazing, by the way. I gave up one of the blue orb things for that. Oh, I can reuse it. Okay, interesting. Um, so do I get the same prize every time, or does it mix it up? All right. Get our reward. Still not amazing, but I do see that's going to keep escalating and I'm assuming at the end we get our blue orb back. Or not, it could be that there's just enough of them that I don't need to get it back. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay. How do I deal with that monstrosity? Because that right there is terrifying. I mean, it does seem like one thing to do is to try and knock out one of them as fast as we can. Oh, the... Yeah, yeah, it definitely went from, this isn't so bad, to, this is horrible. Alright, so I haven't been using the katana, but it's supposed to be able to hit a bunch of targets at once for lower damage. That might actually work here. So first, let's rally them. I think that's the idea, though, because I can tell I can hit pretty quick and move around. But yeah, so I think the idea is I literally want to just run in here and drop one as fast as I can. Okay, I'm kind of terrified. What's next? Because this implies there's at least two more waves. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, two more waves, because this one will... Clear it up. All right. I was about to say, like, 
What am I missing? All right, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. Get some steel just in a big pile. All right. So what got awful nightmare this time? Oh, that, that's nowhere near as bad. Come on, rally, 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 rally. Oh, nope, there's one faster than there. I may have spoken too soon. Okay. So I can make that work. Um, so switch to the katana, same thing. So that one, I'm not going to be able to do the thing where I, like, run over and I bully one really fast. That's not going to happen on this one. So I do scream first. Let's run down here. Okay, so those are the only ones that can catch me while I'm moving if I don't cut off. So, I can actually make that... Not fair. I was getting... I'm too tired right now. That's so I'm watching. I gotcha. Well, welcome. Yeah, I don't think that'll be nearly as bad. Because it's just the two Dark Souls and Product Zomboid. Um... Okay. So this time, let's skip the one on top. Kill you. I wanted to turn and do that, but that's fine. Okay. Give me my prize. All right, one more round. Oh, I have a corpse to pick up. Okay. So I was like, this game is all chill. It doesn't get sweaty and try hard or anything like that. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I need to upgrade this katana. Oh, that's bad. I go on my own terms. Yeah, having the ranged ones in there, that's just mean. Alright, so keep with the katana. I'm gonna think for this, let me switch this out for some knives. Because they might be able to sneak in the hits on the, um, on the other ones with the knives. <sighs> yeah, when I saw that there's ranged ones behind us, like, wait a second. Yeah, I've identified that the bottom one is one of those ones that explodes everything. Mines are your favorite? Yeah, I still need to do the mines. I can't see behind those trees. Yeah, it's that one on the bottom I need to get him fastest. Um, because he can just put so much explosion down on the field. Yeah. 
That is unfortunate, is all I gotta say about that. I choose to go on my own terms. That actually would have worked out great if I could have kept it up. Huh? It makes it a lot harder to kite. And thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, like the other ones just spraying shots are bad enough, but the one being able to like drop an area of effect covering a whole area is rough. I am noticing that they're still dropping their loot. Oh, I'm out of those. Da -da 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 -da. Ah. Everyone's mantle, but looking forward to seeing what else you play. Gotcha. Are you trying to make him die from exhaustion? No, so what I was trying to do is I was trying to line up so I could get a dagger throw on the other ones. But I'm thinking what I can do here is. We're not going to be able to use the bandage during this. That's just not going to happen. So we're going to get our pain pills. um, Because those, are, I believe, are fairly quick. Man, this is rough. I mean, it is the last wave of this nonsense. Oh, I was really... I got shoved into it. I was really hoping I could hook the grenade. I'm trying to set up Proxy's Mine before I... Yeah, so I don't think I have the Proxy Mines made, do I? I do, actually. I don't think they're fully upgraded yet. So with that... We'll just take some pills real fast. Don't worry about it. Okay. So it gave me a shard. I'm I'm cool with that. Let's drop this all off. And we leveled. You can do the hoarder. All right. So we can make the recycler use process high grade materials back into lower ones. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We still want to do the hunting rifle and all that. The soldier helmet. Sure, I have plenty of those materials. Just go ahead and make it. All right. One more thing to do with the obelisks. Yeah, I'm hoping. We get the stuff back because I did notice that it was still like blinking that I could interact with it. Um, obelisk of summer, the fact activation, heat protection. Only one obelisk can be active at the same time. I see. Cool. 
So the obelisks give like just kind of permanent buffs while they're up, and you can just you can only have one at a time. But all right, so I have no recipes that I haven't made. Um. And I'm not using those, I think, on these items right now. All right. Um, that's probably important that I did that because I'm going to be swapping to the gas mask here. Check out the temple. Oh, let's, um, let's fix our accessories. One time, but active until you activate them. Yep, that's what I figured. All right, so I'd rather have the bandage than you. Um, and we'll use that for now. All right, and with that, let's start heading back towards the main dig site. Think the temple grounds the main dig site. Yeah, I think it's the temple grounds is where we're going. We had a fishing spot we missed. That's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm sure later I'll regret and have to backtrack, but. Eh, that's tomorrow me's problem. And I still don't have what I need to interact with those, I don't believe. Um, we already went down there. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, it's like, I know it was somewhere here around here. All right, no problem, Indifferent Noob. You sleep well. Thank you again for tuning in. All right, so we just need to find our way back up here. Um, Back there. Okay, so I got to go down here, then I got to loop back around. We go down here. It's somewhere here on the left it cuts across. Okay, so we gotta go around this nonsense and then back up. Yeah, this whole zone is different than all the other zones. Like, all the other zones are like, there would be, you know, choke points or whatever I had to go through. But this entire zone is just... Ow. Like a whole path. This I can't... There you are. Okay, so go that. Yes, unfortunately, because I did have to wait until we got in there to use the thing where they don't respawn, I have to like fight my way back out and re clear this. That's fine. I shouldn't have to ever re-clear it ever again. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I don't have the inventory space, so it's in our fishing spot. Okay, teleport all that stuff out of here. I really need to take the time to upgrade that thing. It's super handy for these times. Watch check. Yep. Yeah. Slowly sliding down the chair. Okay, so we got all them killed. All right, where's the path over here? Um, yeah, so that dead ends up there, so we got to go up here. That's fine. Clearing out all these enemies out here just means it's something I never have to worry about again. Plus, it gives me mana beads. All right. Yeah, so everything sitting here is waiting on mana shards. All the other stuff, I gotta go back to main base to where I'm processing titanium and lumber and all that. Okay, that cuts over this way. Let's go ahead and check up this route. I don't want to go around and I could go through, so I'm going through. game called I'm a better shot than you are. <laughs> I knew it was going to be rough getting back out of there with how much I had to like wind back in there and the fast travel was like all the way back up here. Okay. 
Inventory space getting very full. Alright, how much farther is to the next campfire? Holy crap. Um, there's a bridge up there. This just loops around back the way we came, doesn't it? No, there's a dig site path down here. I think I did take a path I don't need to be taking, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and chuck more stuff on the ground. Yeah, I have to go to the campfire and then do a lap. Picking up all this stuff, because I'm I pull on these things again. Hey friend. Ah, uh, gotcha. It doesn't actually go through. Okay, so this is the route. I was just sitting there thinking, like, man, am I taking, like, the most scenic tour? Alright, where is the camp? Alright, so there's an expedition base camp right up there. Okay, finally, we can drop off all this stuff. Now I ain't worry about any of this stuff up here. I've got so much junk laying back here. I'm gonna end up needing my thing that lets me um teleport the stuff back and then still add plants for it. Let's go ahead and finish off the rest of these though. Just do a lap back here. I 
If nothing else, I want to make sure I get the mana beads. The rest of it's not as big a deal. Just how much stuff was laying around. Okay, I think we've hit the point. Yeah, alright. So that was everything that got left. Okay. I was about to grab that because I'd never remember it. I don't think we'll ever have a reason to go back down that way. Alright. So I do want to just at least peek into the um the main temple, whatever you want to call it. Should be one more that was like right by these trees, right? I must already grabbed it. We got our gas mask. Makes more of the map available. Alright, so we got more stuff down here to kill. Okay, we've got you here. All right. Do we unlock anything that I can make with all of that junk we got? I mean, all of it's going to be useful for stuff. Yeah, no, it's the same thing with the um the shards. But there's a lot of stuff you can use those materials for. All right, we got a dig spot up here. All right, so let's switch you for a shovel. Okay. I have my gas mask on, so I should be able to just pop in here now. The lock would seem to open when all... Never mind. Basically, until I do all of the little side places. All right, once I've done all the runes, then I can go in. So that's not a thing I can do right now. Um, I'm not running all the way the heck back to that array. So we're going to go down here. Um, because that's where we were actually heading to the first place when we got in this whole escapade. Um, because that is Solaris, I believe. Which should have the train parts, which is the whole reason we went on this detour. I can't break that yet. I kind of wish we got, and maybe we get one later, I kind of wish we had... An item where I could be like, yeah, I'm done where I'm at. Please teleport me back to, you know, I let me specify one of the um things. Like, basically give me a fast travel to someplace. I don't care about that. That's Primaville. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's not where I want. I want down here. And at the moment, I don't have any of the uh, blue orbs to make anything interesting happen with that. Um, okay. I didn't think it was going to be able to break it, but it was just curious. Okay, so we just gotta go right down this way. There's a campfire. I wasn't even paying attention where it said we were. Driftwood. This is not where we're looking. Um, where the heck is the place we're looking for? Maybe all the way up there? Okay. Uh, if you get hit with all three of those, it is instant death. Okay, so there's our body. Yeah, I think that might be where we're heading up here. And if not, then I have absolutely no idea. Nope, dried out farm. Not what we're looking for. I mean, it could be that up there across the bridge. Oh, that exclamation mark up there might be literally telling me, hey, this is where you need to go. Another place you can farm. Don't really care about it. I can't cross the bridge there because it's not down, so that's useless. Alright. Well, that's pretty lame. Alright, so let's see... Oh, there's a buried... Well, let's do the buried treasure just because that should be the last one I need to, um... Finish the challenge for a whole bunch of XP. Just gonna run up here and go... Cool. 
Yeah, I need to cut those for those white mushrooms. Oh, there's a cabinet to search. Might have a recipe in it. No, it's apparently a cabinet full of uh, lots of leaves. All right. Anyways, what I'm going to go ahead and do at this point is I am going to go ahead and wrap up because it is getting to be about that time. And I usually do stream from 5 p.m. EDT till about 4 a.m. EDT. And we're a bit.